No, you're right. You're right. It is buff blonde Noel Fielding. It'll probably just be me today. Uh, Raven Joe was working for the past three days. He may join later. We'll see how things go. But yeah. Hello everyone, on this very scuffed start of a fucking stream where Windows decided it wanted to fucking update mid-fucking me prepping for stream and crashing literally all of my render frames. Could not stream shit for a second there, could I? God. Just like... Really wanting to just slap the shit out of this, out of OBS, but also Windows at the same time. Like, I updated OBS before stream just to have that alert uh, uh, done away with. And then Windows was just like, no, 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 no. You have an update. You have an update. Frames crash, you hear the sound of 1,000 sheets of glass exploding. Absolutely. fucking lootly. And it's not even, like, standard issue glass breaking sounds it's like minecraft throwing potion sounds so you just hear <laughs> like somebody hit the turbo button and decided to fucking base their throws on the ticks of the server and you're just you're just on the one server with like four cpus dedicated to this one server also malkin you have no clue how tempted i was to uh, pick that up and stream it, but this month's been a bit tight on the money. So, yeah. Unfortunately, I won't be able to get that for any, uh, for a good bet. Like, I have to be very careful with my money this month. I want to make sure that I have, uh, enough money to pay all the bills and rent. Instead of rent, but also maybe bills. Oh yeah, I was, uh, I was gonna pull up the widget thing, which I keep forgetting to do. I'm I'm this close to binding my Spotify widget to uh connect with or boot up with the OBS shortcut I have. Don't fucking connect. There you go. There we go. Also, still to this day, super happy that we're finally going to be able to enjoy the game that this music is from. But yeah, hello everyone. Uh, where we last left off is we're still going on a we're still going on a butthole sniffing adventure to another village where we got. A girl who deals in drugs and sells the drugs to other people. But also there's a disease that's just kind of fucking everyone up right now that she's trying to cure. And, uh, yeah. But also butthole sniffing adventure. I'm really bad at recaps. <laughs> And also, I still don't have a art piece for the coming stream. Really? Fucking PS PS4? PS5? Feels like a fucking PS4. <laughs> you really need- uh, you clearly need to sp uh, spray the lithofoam on the rock- uh, rock pox. There's gonna be a deep rock galactic stream again in the future. The game is really fucking good, and I'm gonna play more of it. And I would love to just grab a full squad of people and just play some fucking deep rock. Like, it was on discount fairly recently, and if you didn't manage to grab it, I still say you should fucking get it anyways. Anyways, let's fucking... Let me get in the stream and unfuck the DMCA situation uh, before we kick off. Because I don't want to risk DMCAing myself. As much as I would un unabashedly enjoy uh, 
having Hyde play on stream. I don't think Sony Music would want that to happen. I move that off my screen. Go away. Shoot. All right. So yeah, for real though, where we last left off, we had a new party member who was who is a dedicated support role, and she's literally just going on this pilgrimage just to fucking cure some diseases, I guess. I say pilgrimage like it's an actual pilgrimage. Okay, first we hand over the drugs to Dr. Ethan, then we butt heads with him. That rowdy girl who dropped this ring in Rythel is supposedly a merchant or something? The infirmary was on the west side of the village, on top of the hill. Let us make haste. Oh, did I interrupt the dialogue? Oh well. Everything is a pilgrimage if you try hard enough. Yeah, no, I agree. Pil you, you, you need to go get some milk from the corner store? Time to go on a pilgrimage. Pilgrimage of milk. Nina! Here you go, doctor. The, uh, medicine you asked for and stuff. Don't hear you go me, missy. And what in the name of all that's holy are you doing here? Maester, do not be angry at Nina. She has only brought me here to see you as a patient. Uh, did I hear you right? Dr. Vanell examined me in Rifle. However, he suggested that I get a second opinion from you. These are for you. The referral and my medical fucking blur on the edges of that shit. I'll see what I can do. My second opinion. You suck. He just opens it and it's just a dick butt. <laughs> a prosthetic, huh? This lasted 14 years? Anyone else but Midas. And it would have fallen apart ages ago. But even he couldn't keep it from deteriorating. He created this prosthesis Yo. using semiomancy. It was designed to grow with its wearer, as would true flesh. Wait, so not only does it move like a normal arm, it grows like one too? How is that not the invention of the century? No shit. If only everyone were as elated as you upon its unveiling, things would have been quite different. Maester Eason. You may put your armor back on. I've seen all that I need to. I appreciate Vanell's referral, but I know little about this arm. Midas, on the other hand. All right, I'll tell you. Midas currently resides in the village of Ada. He's your only hope of fixing Albert's prosthesis. <sighs> Thank you so much. Oh shit, what's Robert Downey Jr. doing caution, here, right? He is a peculiar one. It was he the council directed their ire toward years ago. Persuading him will be no simple task. Nor will it dissuade us. Thank you again. I know you did not have to tell us. Any hyatromancer in my position Just turns to the camera. There's Samiomancy on my Wait, computer. So, so, um, does that mean we're leaving right now? Indeed. Time is of the essence, and Maester Felgreed is integral to our mission. We cannot afford to waste a moment. Oh, uh, I guess that makes sense. Then, um, uh, how do I say this? Nina. Say it. Fret not. Do it. For I would be honored if you joined us. The more allies <laughs> I have in this endeavor, the better. You heard the princess. Now see if the doc's cool with it. Uh, okay, I will. So I guess, um, Leticia, I'll be with you in just a sec. Oh, Bear just puts on a hood and just goes, Do it! Kill them. Kill the young ones. Kill Marcus. Dr. Eason, can I ask you something? Of course. What is it? We should give them some privacy. That we should. 
So, where is this, Ada? To the north of the Larkis region, at the summit of a perilously steep mountain. We should provision ourselves accordingly. As an added benefit, Nina will have the time she needs to settle her affairs. Works for me. Do it! What do you know? It's got the Vineyard family emblem on it. And it sure seems like this is the right place. Sign actually just says, go here, dumbass. Sweet! Anyone home? <laughs> you said b before you burst back into the building. Yeah, this is fucking Raymond kicks down the door and goes, Mom! Holy shit! <laughs> <laughs> no way, no way, no way! This thing is not straight not enough! Where could it be? No! Hey there. Did you, uh, lose this? What? Uh, who are you? Why are you in my... Th that's my ring! Snatches it out of his hand, pokes his nose with his with the finger I uh, staff. It back in rifle. Uh, what a miracle you found it! Thanks. Allow myself to introduce myself. I'm the head of a wealthy merchant family. We've been living in Delric for generations. I'm the. Also, yeah, no, you're right. The sign says that. Vineyard. Ah, uh, this doesn't much look like a wealthy merchant's house. You actually live here? Uh, Talk about a low blow. Uh, anyway, let's gloss over the minor details. Meanwhile, you picked up my ring, came to find me, and deliver it? <laughs> That's pretty pathetic. <laughs> I mean, uh, what a sweetheart you are. And Fucking since you're what? So nice, I have a favor to ask. There's this thing that I super totally really need and I've got a hunch that you're just the right person to get it for me easy peasy bunny squeezy right don't worry the quest comes with a reward she's just a great girl uh, okay. yeah magnificent okay I gave you my orders now make like a tree and get the, I mean please complete my request as soon as you can Okay. Oh, do we already have it? Just how long is that joker gonna make me wait? Did they have mud in their ears? I said as soon as they can. Sorry for the delay with that. Where did you come from? <laughs> Uh, 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 no, no, no. Uh, what do you mean, delay? That was surprisingly fast. Yeah, we literally yes, had it. exactly what I needed. <laughs> now, by mixing this with that... <laughs> now I've got my hands full. All three of them? Hold your horses, Buster. Did I say you could leave? It would stain the vineyard name if I let you leave without getting your reward. Did you forget what I said? I will now give you a special lesson in the compounding secrets of the vineyard family. Oh, right. I better give this to you, too. As long as you got this baby, you can stay in contact with me from even the most far-off locations. And since you're quite the subservient, uh, I mean, uh, due to your natural aptitude, I'm appointing you as my personal scavenger. I'll use this to give this? you a little ring when I need you again, and when I do, you get your butt here right away. Capiche? Uh, okay, gotcha. Splendid! And if you um. give me the things I request... I'll teach you the item creation secrets of the Vineyard family. A reward like that ought to get your tush in gear. Alrighty, let's make it happen. I'll take this over running deliveries any day. Alrighty. That, I guess that's all for her. What is it? You know I don't need you for anything right now, yeah? Wait, does this mean you want to speak with the beautiful merchant magnate with genius level smarts head of the vineyard family, Welch Vineyard? Fine by me, but it'll cost you. 
All right, no thanks. I ain't paying you a penny, bitch. I ain't paying you a penny, grapes. Also, yeah, no, I would totally see her just suddenly having LED glasses the next time we see her. She's just like, I feel like being very flashy t t t today. And she sounds like she's about to be on the brink, or she's on the brink of losing her absolute mind for no reason whatsoever. No matter how many times I scrub, the filth will Anyone never else? come off! Welcome! <laughs> ask if you have any questions. It wouldn't surprise me. If she's a recurring character in the franchise at large, I either forgot about her or probably missed her. And, like, just largely... Or if I didn't miss her, I largely purged her from my brain. Much appreciated. Oh, that's Stop fair. Okay. Then I haven't seen her since... Uh, Then I haven't seen her then. Thanks. Yeah. I didn't really finish three. I didn't really get much of a chance to do it. Nina's probably done with her talk by now. Shall we return to the infirmary then? Small child. Actually, I don't even think she's a child. You just go instantly go into a fugue state when you see her. Go? Yes. Good. He didn't even argue. I just told him I wanted to join the consortium, and he said fine. On one condition that I don't embarrass the princess. <laughs> how did you know that he would give his consent? I just know that's how parents are. They don't want their kids to experience the same hardships they did. But at the same time, part of them wants their kids to follow in their footsteps. It's in their blood. And I should know better than most. I followed in my father's. Also, was that Wolfman's Den? Obviously, the Maesters were pretty pissed at the royal family. Which probably accounts for at least one reason why your old man never mentioned anything about his past. Anyway, he still left you that mountain of research regardless. Just in case you ever decided to become an iatromancer like him. Plus, Dr. Reason made you his apprentice. What I'm trying to say is, both of them are more than happy to support you in your decision. Oh my god. You think? <laughs> I guess they would have. Well, if it took us a trip to Rythel to convince the Doc, who knows what it'll take to convince Midas. So let's get going. Yeah. That that is absolutely amazing. I'm off, Dad. See you around. Her dad just walks past her and goes, Hello, Nina. And she goes, Hello, Dad. <laughs> yeah, ma imagine her as a streamer doing the pay uh, paying for me talking shtick. I, honestly, I really wish I could joke about what sort of streamer she would be, because but I'd probably get tossed banned on Twitch. And mind you, it's not anything super off color, but like there's been some Twitch moderators that very much don't like them being talked about ne uh, in any negative sense. But I can also see uh, her being the, like, claustrophobic type, where she wears a uh, LED visor or something like that. It's either that or every time you see her, it, like, in public, she's just going ape shit on the phone for no reason. I mean, occasionally you'll just receive, like, 30 emails and, and she'll just go, They're all for you! They're all for you! Trust no bitch. <laughs> All right, time to set out for Ada. To reach the village of Ada, we must traverse the Larkus Weald. So our first step is to travel towards the Larkus region. Interrupt that shit. Let's go. Forgot what was a dodge, but no, there we go. Oh, 
All right, you're on the ground now. Yes, it. Oh my God, you joke about that, uh, Becky, but that's actually a thing. Uh, like advisors are real. Uh, I've seen one before when uh, I think it was either PAX or Emerald City Comic Con was going on. Uh, when I was at my old workplace, that somebody was wearing, and it was literally just advertising a bunch of cryptocurrency shit. Like, there is very much, it is very much a thing, and people very much do get paid for it. Probably not a lot, or, they're, or they get paid in cryptocurrency, and it's probably one of the worst things ever. Uh, which Anyone map? Need help? Leave it to me. Map, 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 map. Map. Wrong button. Oh, you could definitely tell I'm used to playing this controller on my Steam Deck. I just hit the screenshot button. Did it again. That's fine. Okay, so I need to go east. But yeah, no. Advisors are totally a thing. Like, you joke, but it's real. Threat detected. I keep forgetting AP is a thing. Try to play this as an action game. There we go. <laughs> What's wrong with the debit card? Honestly, I kind of agree with that sentiment. I, it's either that or I'd just go there with uh, all crypto as a Ponzi scheme. Oh, no, you're down. Damn, son. And also, uh, I think I've talked about this before, but I openly admit refusing to call cri uh, crypto bros crypto bros. I call them crypto cultists because 90% of the time they're using cult, uh, like cult tactics to get people into it. So we got to go north from here. Yes, that is correct. You are really starting to be able to navigate our minds, Ray. Yeah. I think I'm starting to get the lay of the land. Oh shit! Oh shit! I was hoping to get out of that. Oh, blindside! There we go. Yeah, no. Like I've I've actually known people who were for a good bit there, uh, pretty deep into, and then your party guest list, like. No, you're supposed to go wees. Yeah, pretty much. Like Albert's just sick of a uh, sick of Raymond talking shit about him, so he just starts giving him false navigation directions. <laughs> Did you just call him a turd? Did you call him a turd? I mean, you're correct. He's a turd now. Squeeze. I will forever love that. Instead of saying east, it's weast. What? <laughs> What they're doing, uh, does he, uh, yeah, what they're doing, and does he have an S-Quick? I don't know. Probably. Everybody kind of has an S-Quick on hand. Also, God, this game is beautiful. I don't think I've made this comment before, but it's most definitely beautiful. And Wolfman's Den, if you're new here, normally, uh, Thursdays is with me and my roommate Raven Joe. Uh, but he's currently resting right now. I decided to just let him rest. I did wake him up originally, but yeah, he, he's been working a few days, so I'm just gonna let him sleep. 
Also, yeah, her, her, oh, fair enough. It won't be the turd. Well, welcome regardless, Wolf. Bone going ape. Bone's always going ape shit. The village of Ada lies beyond the Larkus field. Let us continue north from here. Bitch! Destroy. Out of my face! Son of a bitch, I got hit again. There we go. Yeah, I'm pretty sure she said uh she said we won't be deterred. But uh, I I just can't help but, you know, still miss here on purpose. Cause it's just fun that way. Oh, you got fucking dis decimated. Ah, oh, well, welcome back and welcome as regardless. Like, I, I was just, I didn't recognize the name at first. But a gaining levels. I am. Uh, nay. I am quite alright. Should I require a brief rest? I shall suggest we do so. I believe you were a lonely all wolf right, man because I recognize the name. Yeah, let us know any time if you need a break. And you damn. But yeah, no, so I, I will actually give a pretty solid opinion of this game so far. Uh, I'm actually thoroughly enjoying this, like, the just the fact that they actually nailed a vaguely alien feeling landscape in a good few areas. And then it's like this right here, this is not even vaguely feeling. This is like full on like, you don't normally see weird Fort Rock formations like this on Earth. So it's just odd enough to feel uh, alien as fuck while also being fairly grounded. So I'm gonna beat that B up. Do you like chairs? Oh my god. Fucking seed shooter over here. That's just a mountain a mountain range is a dragon star. You know, I haven't done the dailies for and Walker yet, but I can kind of see this being like dry, uh, like vaguely dragon star adjacent. We, especially with some of the things we've heard about in Heaven's Word and the way they tend to like the fashion their uh, architecture. Oh, you're fucking done. You gonna peek at the mountain, uh, at the mountains in a certain Omega fight? That didn't surprise me. But yeah, if, that, if that's if this is literally what this, this general style they went with uh, for Dragon Star in fourteen, like that's I can fucking get down with that. Ah, uh, we're back in this. Continuing on our current northbound course should lead us into the region of Adali. So you're saying we're almost there? Nay, I am afraid this is merely the beginning. 
We must conserve our strength. The terrain shall only become more arduous. Wow, since I climbed in. He's hoping it's not too steep. Destroyed. Neutralized. Also, this Valheim ass forest. Nibbling on the roots of Yggdrasil. Is that frog again? Sweet. Sweet. That's not nearly as 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 funny as uh as a rare doodah right there. I found myself a rare doodah. <laughs> fucking Xenoblade uh Chronicles 3 is fucking <laughs> I think it was Lens. It's been a bit since I played the game. Maybe at some point I'll stream the whole thing after a giant fucking RPG or after playing the other games. Boom. Solution. Uh. Okay, so this is another strain. Never mind, I am just a little bit dim on that front. Oh, climb the rock. Right. They did mention that, didn't they? Yeah, no. These these fucking tree roots are also really fucking cool. I wonder if it's it all belongs to like a giant tree or some shit. Sweet. Fuck is with his uh, it's tree bark, some kind. Yeah, no, this game's fucking gorgeous. Continuing north from here shall see us arriving in the Adali region. The northwest side is where those rooms are. I've never been to this side, though. This area is where we first met Ray. Somehow it feels somewhat nostalgic already. Oh, so it was around here. Letitia is just like, it feels nostalgic, and everyone just goes, but it was yesterday. We are it was yesterday. But it feels like With how he's kinda optimistic. Oh my god, Becky! About time for a rest. Call him a ray of sunshine. God! Oh, did I? Am I going the right way? No, I'm not. I'm in fact going the wrong way. Good job, me. One moment. Fucking ray of sunshine. Good lord. Playing uh, just just the the onion of puns there. Also, sorry I'm being fairly silent today. My um, my energy's a little bit burnt, so this stream is a little bit uh, low and chill. But also, it's 
eh, the RPGs are a little bit harder to stream. Uh, to stream. I considered doing something else, but I've been really wanting to play more of this game. So what Ooh. the? You weren't kidding when you said perilous. One wrong step could indeed spell your doom. Nothing to stop you from plummeting to the bottom, so keep your wits about you. Really? If we misstep, <laughs> we shall look to you, Duma. <laughs> One misstep and, and, and your fall as he proceeds to fall. <laughs> Yo, hold on. We actually have enemies that are a challenge? Fucking beating that ass with the beating the porcupine ass. Fucking we Sonic Frontiers did come path. out. Indeed. I believe the village of Ada lies to the east. Peace. Well then, Peace. I guess that's where we're headed. Very good. Let us proceed with caution. Oh, that would have been risky. Like, if I did not jump to the next target, that would have been it. I would have fallen off the cliff. Would have had a dragon's dogma moment where I toss myself off a cliff trying to do something cool. Who the fuck's in here? Oh, that's a box. What's in the box? Sweet. Uh, electromagnetic bomb M. Neat. Don't know what it does, but fucking it do. Am I gonna make it? Am I gonna make it? Am I gonna make it? Nope. All right, bye, Ray. I'll probably make it there on this spot. This seems a little more approachable. There we go. Nope. 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 Oh, I should have aimed higher. You die. Okay, do we got it this time? Yeah. Let's fucking go. Get them points. Get them points in the platforming. Start making Bubsy 3D quotes that nobody knows. But don't tell anyone that it's not actually Bubsy 3D quotes. Just say something actually funny and just say it's Bubsy. Just to confuse the hell out of everyone. Points! Oh shit. Alright. Fucking coin counter over here. Fucking tin ta tin uh pont swing. Hey, there we go. Broke his staff. Oh, I guess we got crafting now. <laughs> Coin counter takes a moment to reconsider. Pretty much. All right, I am gonna have to use an item. Let's see, is it fresh sage? Yes. Son of a bitch. All right, that's handled.
Let's try this again. Fresh Sage on Nina. Don't let me down. All right, you're down. You're back up. There you go. Damn, fucking coin counter didn't take long enough to reconsider. The stage is so pungent, it's just it works as smelling salts. I mean, you're not wrong. Depending on the, on the uh, particular plant breed of sage, it is actually very pungent. I'm gonna take the detour. Break the face! 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 Sweet! Fucking Raymond gets some gunner glasses. He puts them on and goes, Gamers! I say we make camp here for the night. Man, we're still a long ways from Ada, aren't we? Ooh, frame rate. Climb too much for you? Hey, I'm not the one who collapsed in front of an infirmary. You sure you're up for this? I had plenty of time to convalesce. I can survive a leisurely hike through nature. Let's just hope you're right. Ugh, it's freezing up here. I must say. I'm surprised you haven't asked about it. Oh, please. Everyone's got something they don't want to talk about. Besides, you seem like the kind of guy who'd get mad if someone asked him what he had for dinner. No way am I going to ask about such a touchy subject. Just what do you think I am? A uh, cranky <laughs> killjoy? What did you... Shh, shh, not so loud. You're going to wake the others. <laughs> <laughs> I w okay. The bit is becoming a not bit, and I love it. I thought that was my phone for a second. Who's this? It's Elena. How are you holding up down Elena? there? Elena? Oh, I knew it! I knew you were alive! Where are you now? Just outside the gravitational field of the planet you're on. Unfortunately, my pod sustained damage upon ejection, rendering the attitude control inoperable. I couldn't reset the system either. I've been controlling the craft manually. Hey, I trust you more than any autopilot system. More importantly though, send me your landing coordinates. This is an underdeveloped planet. I have no clue how long it'll take me to reach you, but I'll do everything I can to get there ASAP. Thank you, Ray. See you soon. Over and out. This is great news! Um? So, she's 27 hours out, but where will she... <laughs> awesome! We're headed that way already. Well, that's next, to Chloe. I'm not leaving you behind. We're all going back to Vergold together. I think we can all agree we'd like to reach Ada by sundown, so the sooner we depart, the better. Turns out she's just a floating head in a pod. It's either that or she is she's also a fucking Duma. Or no, better yet, the fucking Oh no way, y'all wouldn't have uh play uh played aperture desk job. So Aperture Aperture Desk Job uh, added some extra lore to the Portal universe, and uh, Cave Johnson was still technically alive, which is a fascinating thing to say the least. But uh, I believe Portal Desk Job is only available. On, uh, oh my god, it is Queen Counter. Holy shit. Look at this Zaku looking motherfucker. This Zaku ass fucking eye. He's got like one eye and it's immediately just like. Break that fucking. 
Ah! Hey, where are the free samples? Have you seen my club? Club? Boom, dead. Reincarnation, reincarnation of Big the Cat, but he's using a club. Where's my club? Clubby. Your sins are not forgotten, Raymond. No matter how hard you scrub, the frog will never show up. His smile and optimism gone. Break his club and he j the the fucking uh whatever that was named just goes. Oh no. Ah, is that the finish line I see there? Whoa, whoa, holy crap! We have climbed seriously high up. The village of Ada is just beyond that bridge. Let us keep moving. He uses the club like a body pillow. No, he just has a body pillow with his club on it. And it's like this obnoxiously large body pillow at that. We have. Oh, somebody's using parallel. Oh, this is a actual difficult enemy. Never mind, he's dead. And he's gone. Oh, okay. Uh, this narrow road here looks more like a sketchy mountain path. The path to the village of Ada is the one with the bridge. We should turn back. All right, Letitia. Stand back before you die. And story. What's up with this gate? Thought this was supposed to be a quiet mountain village, not a military stronghold. Um, um? does anyone else see that thing moving? That thing bears quite a resemblance to a cannon and is trained on us. Out of its way! You going to oh sleep shit! Up? You're supposed to warn us about this stuff. Primitive large scale firearms. Very helpful. Oh shit, it actually is doing some sizable damage, too. Also, am anybody else weirded out by the fact that it's, uh, these are, uh, Psyomancers? Oh shit. He was down, press Sage, get back up, while I have a second, and let's spin some blueberries on you. Oh, I'm actually playing somebody else, whoops. Yeah. These are actually keeping my points down. I actually don't have a lot of AP suddenly. There we go. Get that stun in. Never mind. Took my AP away. Double blind side? Damn, son! Never mind! Ah, you got the blind side of me! Now you got the blind side of a gun! Oh, 
these moa looking motherfuckers they really are like they oh i probably shouldn't have attacked in like random ones now we just have a lot All right, you need to get back up immediately. I'm glad they're all focused on Raymond at least. But the downside on that is, oh my god, they're doing so little damage to begin with. Am I outpacing the, the healing? All right, you, no, you, okay. Fresh Sage on Nina, just to ensure she gets the experience. God damn, did she just go down immediately? All right, well, too much bullshit going on at once. I have to keep her down. Oh my god, I just got fucking cannon countered. Dude just entered royal guard stance. God damn! There we go. Holy shit. You guys never told me we'd have to lay siege to a castle. I do not take the destruction of my defenses lightly. Now state your purpose here. Having pillaged the capital, does the Empire now sick its hounds on the western frontier? How dare you think us Imperial dogs! Still your tongue, Alverd. Huh? Forgive our trespass. We bear neither you nor this town ill will, Maester Felgreed. That's Midas? It is not without reason that we have appeared before you. Please, grant us audience. You may have grown, Leticia, but tell me, will you still throw a tantrum if I said no? I beg of you, Maester. We have a patient who Dr. Eason says only you are able to cure. A patient? Of Marcus's? <laughs> Very well. Open the gate. Homie got the I fucking uh, a therometer on his wrist. Man is. He has no right to disparage one of royal blood. His words may have been meant to wound, but he let slip that he still recognized me. I consider that a victory. And now the real battle awaits. Use a bitch! Come. See, he noticed that I was a bitch. <laughs> I considered that a victory. <laughs> All right, I Come guess. This way and be quick about it. What's the deal with the gate, man? But grandfather, it's far I'm more than that, now. as I'm sure you've now come to realize. It's a security system designed to rebuff highwaymen and their ilk. You sure you need it? They seem safe enough to me. For now, yes. Uh -huh. It's only a matter of time until Osiris falls, and then even your most loyal knights will turn to outlawry. Maester, you do not mean that. Oh, but I do. I assume it's already begun, in fact. Why else would royalty trek into the hinterlands if not to beg for help? <laughs> God damn, this dude's got a fucking sharp tongue. Dude's bite is oh, is just as bad as his bark. Jesus. Yeah, I don't give a fuck. What the fuck you doing here? No, you're on a journey? That's cool. Who cares? Who asked? <laughs> 
The steampunk convention's late this year. I've been dressed for five weeks. Why can't more open world RPGs have like neat little architecture like this? I'll come back for you soon. But yeah, no, this feels genuinely like fantasy as fuck. Oh, alright, well. I guess they rejoin us in the corporeal world again. Homie about to be like L plus ratio, plus you got shot, plus you're lost, plus you're out of sage and berries. Dude just fucking ratio to my ass on Twitter. Fucking cup his fucking cape though, like look at this dude. God damn son. Joe wind turbines. Making electricity and wheat while you're at it. Chaffing the wheat, making flour. Running that shit to a fine powder. Off screen. His cape gets tangled around the leg and he falls onto his face. Screams an obscenity at the top of his lungs. Fuck! Why he's such a grump? Because he always gets tangled in his cape? Yeah. Just walks past the machinery and it just, like, reaches out and snatches the, the fucking knit. Uh, edge of that shit, pulls him back a little bit just to hear him fall. No fucker! I keep it long to make sure that I can swoop it. And he gets stuck in a turbine. It's pulled yeah. into the tur- and, and just in, in enough where he just goes flying and his shoes go flinging off. You too? Wait outside. Uh, Maester. This isn't a show. They will only get in the way. Or are you so unmanned by a doctor, you need your mistress to hold your hand? Ah, uh, hate to interrupt, but I happen to be a semiomancer too. See? You won't even notice me. Promise. I just want to watch. Whatever tech you used for that arm could help a lot more people, you know? Fine, but not a word from you. Might is literally looking like you, the dude who'd get a Phil fucking... Bezos, girl. You know your herbs? Uncle Midas, my name's Nina. Nina! Well, Nina, let's see whether or not you can follow orders. Bring me two sprigs of lavender and Artemis leaf each. Dried, not fresh. <sighs> yeah, yeah, I'm on it. And you? Raymond. Raymond, <laughs> you're free to watch. But better keep that orb of yours in line. I'll do my best. You catch that, Duma? Be on your best behavior for the dock. What a rum thing. Now, your prosthetic. So you collapsed in rifle, experiencing any other symptoms? Keep this to yourself. For about a month's time, I've not been feeling quite myself. It was around then that I noticed a peculiar darkening of the skin at my shoulder. Hmm. Half a year, then you will lose all function of your arm. What? What? I can craft a new prosthetic for you, but it will be of inferior make. Its performance will suffer as well. You have no choice but to change your lifestyle greatly, lad. And there's nothing to be done? There was, 14 years ago. Then, Maester, I have a favor I must ask of you. Unless it concerns your arm, you waste your breath. I have no patience for royalty or their dogs. <laughs> Fourteen years ago, huh? Damn, son. 
Well, what news? I have failed. My pleas for appeals fell on deaf ears. What do I care about that? I speak of your arm. Will it heal? Uh, oh, uh, right. Of course. He tells me I will lose all use of it within the year. But surely he can craft for you a new one, right? He may once have been able to, yes, but that was 14 years ago. Uh. Highness! She kicks down a door. Maester Felgreed. I throw myself upon your mercy. I beg you, create a new prosthesis. You know my answer. I beseech you, do me this one kindness, and I swear by all my forefathers that you shall never again have to see another of my line. Is that truly why you ventured into this backwater to give your retainer a health check? I confess that was not my aim at first, but now... Now I am here for no other purpose than to see my dearest friend well at last. I entreat you, Maester. Help him. <sighs> the materials I'd need were lost to your kingdom 14 years ago. Nothing oh? short of time travel can see that prosthetic of his made new. Oh? This cannot be. This is the best I can offer him now. I was warned that the arm might last into adulthood, so I prepared this just in case. With some adjustments, it should provide you with more than enough mobility to lead an ordinary life. But not one of knighthood. Still, that's a fancy piece of gadgetry. How's it powered? For no semiomancer, you're quite perceptive. Busted. It's plain to see there's no semiomantic connection between you and your orb, and yet still it heeds your command. I confess I've never seen anything like it. How does it work? That's I a ponder million it. fall question, isn't it? Sure would be great if you could help us answer it, though. You think I'll be cozened by such tricks? I ponder it really Come hard. Come on, man. If this kingdom goes down, it's taking you with it. If Asarius's fate rests entirely on my shoulders, then they deserve what's coming. Uh, Maester! End of discussion. Damn, son. However, I have a responsibility to see to your arm, one I won't neglect. Anything beyond that is none of my concern. As you wish. No, Highness. I have witnessed firsthand how much this village has come to rely upon you. I cannot in good conscience deprive these people of your services. I ask only that you provide Albert with the care he so rightly deserves. Wow. And then he was removed from the party. Distress signal received. Distress signal received. Huh? Confirmed. Edith affiliated. Escape craft entering current orbit. Analyzing call signal. Executive officer Elena on board. Already? But how? Something's wrong. Who speaks? And what's that map? Not now. Elena? Elena, come in. Ray, my escape craft has just entered Aster Four's gravitational field. But the attitude control system can't be operated manually. Deceleration is impossible. Here are my projected landing coordinates. Got it. See you soon. And stay safe, okay? I will certainly try. Over. There is definitely something up. Um, what the heck was that? Sorry, guys, but something came up. Gonna need to leave you for a bit. Over my dead body. This is serious. I'm aware. So why then think to go off alone? Ugh. Maester Felgreed, I'm afraid we must leave you for now. Albert and I have sworn to assist Ray in locating his companions. Where he goes, so must we. However, oh, those are lances. upon our return, I would ask that you tend to Albert's arm. Ray, let's hurry. Thanks. Coming in Answer starts playing. I'm sorry. She has 
landed in treacherous terrain. She is beyond our help, if she survived at all. Yeah, damn it! Come. Maester? You mean okay. to get to that meteorite? Then follow me. Thanks, man. I owe you. You are good to help us, Maester. Thank you. I do this for my village, not for you. Come now. Before I race you, you again. On Swisher, that doesn't exist yet. Oh. All right. Well, uh, let's see. How do I add him to the party? Oh, there we go. Triangle. Goodbye. I don't want to see his shit. Is beneath me. The meteorite likely fell near the Galka Shrine. It's not very far from the village. Come this way. Oh. Now I gotta get all the points. The points. The points. Albert immediately get, got shelled, by the way. Which is funny. Just tossed his ass into reserves immediately. Oh, shit. Probably heal, too, because Nina's like 1 HP. Uh, you are there. Anyone home? Ding dong. Let me in. Welcome to our. Beesh. The machinery may be loud during the day, but don't worry. They'll quiet down come night. A good meal always hits the spot. It hits the spot quite nicely. Have a good day. And take a look about the village if you're interested in machinery. Love this place. Raven Joe, just come in here, dude. You don't have to be fully energetic. You're gonna hop and chat, dude. It's okay. If we're all set, let's hurry over to Elena. We can leave through the western gate. Just walk in here. You you don't you don't have to be full energy to do do funny haha. -ha. Actually, we will take the, I will take this moment to do a quick BRB anyways. I need something for my throat.
Okay, Raven Joe's on the mic now. Hey. Okay. Yeah, we're all we're all low energy today. Even I've been low energy, but I've been more RPGing the shit up by just being quiet during the cutscenes and giving small clips instead of a lot of talkativity. But yeah, most hospitable village in the game, I feel like. <laughs> I think you're 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 pretty far played ahead now, aren't you? Uh, I think I have like 20 hours in so far, yeah. Yeah. If it wasn't for the fact that I'm streaming this, I would probably be around where you are. But also, I don't know. Just, just, what, okay, what's your consensus on this game being streamable so far? Uh, b b b uh, my consensus is, I don't know, just play whatever the fuck. Okay, fair enough. Because, I, I mean, I'm going to play this to finish on stream. Maybe not 100%, but at least finish a ending if there is more than one ending. But yeah, fucking, oh my god, the boss before this was actually really fucking rough. Uh, the, 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 the gun turrets and shit, right? Yeah, fucking turret squad. Funnily enough, I actually had, it actually went from hard to easy in my case because so many of them kept jumping right in front of me and you can actually blindside them fairly easily. Yeah, they, they don't have, I, I noticed they didn't really have like your typical, uh. Their frame of vision is tiny for yeah. a, a boss, which is probably a. Indicative Deliberate, of yeah. uh, choice and all that. Wouldn't be surprised if they end up being a regular ar uh, army enemy. I mean, they technically are a regular army. R a regular enemy later on. I have not encountered them so far, so... Target oh? Sighted. The fuck are you going target sighted about? Oh. Open the map. Oh. What the fuck's over there? Oh my god, the range is so broad that I don't know where that's going. <laughs> yep. At least it's marked on your map. Is it? it? It is marked on your map forever once you find it once. Oh, is it that right there? Yep, uh, right in the corner of the item shop. Or outside the item shop, I should say. Also, yeah, no, that, uh, Becky has a good point. We do have moments where we say funny, uh, sometimes really funny shit when we're low energy. I don't remember anything <laughs> that I said in like the first stream of Nobody Saves the World and you told me outright after the fact you said some of the funniest things I've ever heard you, you say on stream. You kind of have. <laughs> <laughs> like, when, you, when you're just not giving a fuck, your actual comedic energy is pretty noticeably higher. I, I'm, I'm probably the same way as well. Oh, there it is. Wind incantation. I'm assuming that's a, one of those wind items, or wind damage items. Either that or that's what happens after you have, like, Taco Bell. You say that as that was my lunch for work today. Oh yeah. Even though I get like the least, a uh, least bodily offensive fucking ta uh, thing from Taco Bell. Well, hey, if they're gonna make you work in the office more often, make it their problem. Yeah, no, pretty much. I can't forget feeling like something's here. Nah, it's just, I think it's just carved out this way to be a boss arena before you get access to the town well, proper. Well, which is even funnier that like, the bo the fight didn't really leave like this area, <laughs> and I probably made it even harder for myself by activating every almost every single enemy towards the end. Which, uh, yeah, Nina, uh, kind of died. We also got a fourth party member. Oh yeah. Conti continuing the, tra the weird, semi-uncommon tradition of Square Enix games oh, having shit. the buffest fucking wizards. I forgot to turn off the BRB. Sorry about that. And yeah, no, like, this dude is like, he fucking lifts. He's making Ray look fucking skinny. Jesus Christ. Dude's built like a fucking truck. <laughs> fucking Optimus Prime over here. Follow the side road until you reach the shrine. L like, not to mention he has the attitude where he would gen- no, no, it's a new party member. I'm okay with the with the. No, you were the one who were who was like uh had the biggest issue. No, no, I know that's what I'm saying. No, no, I'm okay. It's a new party member. You finish casting during uh the Irish demi mass, you will instantly trigger after a VA attack. Oh, so he just goes fucking Shantoto. So yeah, so he's like you. You 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 it's keep terrible. casting as you do the charge, and if you finish it while the incantation would have stopped, you can just immediately lag cancel into it. Oh, hey, that dodge. 
You alright there, buddy? Oh, shit. Yeah, sometimes these great value Ultraman enemies really fucking smart. Oh my god, for real? Like, I, so I'm, I'm fucking glad I'm not the only one that thought that, that, that the fucking dual-wielding Kelpie was a fucking uh, tokusatsu uh, villain or some shit. I was talking about the hedgehogs. They look like Pigmon. I bet that too. I still think the fu it's either that or the fucking uh, the dude who literally never comes back in Full Metal Alchemist in the manga, but does in the show. Hmm. The dude who gets uh, killed and bound to a fucking armor piece, I believe. Uh, Barry the Chopper. I think so. No, he does technically come back in the in the uh, manga. Just oh. wait later. Oh shit! Fair enough. Also, we're in fucking. Uh, Snowy Mountain. So you should have saw this coming. Honestly, yeah. Sweet! Lens scope. Lens scope. So this is just a buff Maconis guy, huh? The structure in the center is the eh, don't worry Let's about it. Waits us inside. <laughs> you just got a rare doodad, don't worry about it. <laughs> also, Jesus Christ. Yeah, no, don't worry about it. These guys see everything. They see your search history. They <laughs> see... Don't worry, it's just a bunch of me googling random bullshit about Linux now. This is what happens when you buy Twitter Blue. This is how everyone looks at you. Now, did you hear uh, about what's been happening on Twitter lately? Uh, yes. How he? So we, we might as well talk about that on stream because I probably should have talked about that anyways. But I was gonna save it for when uh, you popped on next because we, the longer we wait, the more we would probably have to talk about. But at the same time, the fact that they repealed the fucking check mark. Uh, hold on, you got a weapon there. Oh, did I? Yeah. Oh, shit. Whose weapon? Uh, check in inventory. Uh, newest item. That's the plus. That one? Oh, no, it's that. Oh, shit. Alright. Did you get better stats, or is it? Yes. What the fuck have I been doing? Jesus Christ. Look at another fucking gunner. Eh. This fucking Type Zero looking motherfucker. Yeah, look at this bastard. Dude looking like some. Uh, dude looking like the guy that popped the head of a uh, of a small blonde child in fucking Type Zero. What's that? You miss your mother? Let's go check out that shrine. <laughs> a lot of these little uh, Duma Point things scattered around I here. I feel like this is on purpose. I mean, even if not, it's just nice aesthetically. Big old purple crystals looking like a Sonic level. I think. No, we can safely say that now. Sonic Frontiers came oh, out. Oh yeah, fair enough. And fucking Digital Trends Review being con uh, continuing to be not only uh, refusal to back down, but progressively more malicious. Mm. Dude went from calling it the most cringe game in history to actually uh, alluding to using, you know, ableist slurs. Uh, lovely. Yeah, that don't. <laughs> Elena would have been hilarious if the cutscene continued, but Ray's just flying off into the stratosphere, Elena! catching fire. Need some assistance, Albert? Take the other side. We three ought to suffice. About to punch it. Considering part of the whole thing was that his arm is like malfunctioning, that's a dick move. Oh shit. Ready. Wait, what? <sighs> Status. Right leg and left arm has sustained heavy damage. Pedal circuitry offline in both right hand and left leg. Symbol drive is non-functional at the moment. Current power is being supplied from reserve energy source. In maintenance mode, I have at most 56 hours remaining. Advanced processing functions are also limited, preventing movement. Right. How can I help? Due to depleted energy levels, I will be unable to perform repairs myself. <laughs> oh yeah, that's right. They don't know what the fucking android is, so they're just freaking the fuck out over here. Crap. So what are we just imagine Leticia wall-eyed with the most forced smile screaming inside. <laughs> it is imperative that we prevent our technology from falling into the hands of anyone here. Are you crazy? What kind of captain would I be if I told my crew to start offing themselves? There's another way out of this. I know it. Of course. 
Just that look of what the fuck is today? <laughs> the equipment this life form requires to reconstruct itself can most likely be recovered from your downed escape pod. Well, you certainly pick very convenient times to start talking. I speak only when necessary, such as my programming. And thank you for deciding to pipe up now because you're absolutely right. And yeah, Duma my isn't a Doomer. barely sustained any damage. Think that'd work for you, Elena? I don't see why not. So long as you can collect enough of what I need. I should be able to restore my motor control systems to previous output levels. Here, this should be everything. Thanks. You go into maintenance mode. Save your energy best you can. Just keep a comm channel open for me, got it? Understood. So I will be using fast drop for this. Yep. Because you're basically going all the way back to the beginning of the game. <laughs> yeah. You mind? It's kind of out of the way. It may be, but you do not fucking... mind. We agree oh, yeah. to assist you in the search for your crew. And Don't worry about that shrine over there. That's for some green kid in a tunic uh, later. Don't worry about it. Don't know about you guys, but personally, I am super confused. Thank you, I won't Nina. ask you to explain now, but you will tell us what's going on eventually, right? Oh, yeah, definitely. You said there was another meteorite not unlike this one, did you not? Huh? Yeah, why? <laughs> I should like to see it, therefore I shall be joining you. Oh, so now you're interested in what we're up to. How quickly we change our minds. What did you say? You're free to come. Glad you want to, honestly. Because your help's gonna be invaluable. You've got tech like nothing I've seen here. And I'll sleep easier knowing Elena's got you in her corner. Glad I could be your soporific. And you're sure it's okay to leave her here alone? She will be fine. The villagers will know better than to enter, and I doubt any of the local fiends will make it this far. Then let's get cracking. We're on the clock here, people. Move it. Right behind you. I feel more like we're going to see a, a fucking spiky-haired kid in the blue tunic come through here, but all right, that works too. All right, so we're, like I said, going all the way back to where we started the game. Proving that you have another one just like it. Now, my pod is hidden in the Larkus wheel. It's a little bit of a trek, but one worth taking. Uh... Pod is what it's called then. Are they different from meteorites? Well, I guess I'm from trying. down here, they're technically the same. Anyway, I'll explain what they are in more detail later. Oh, hey! We must return via the route from whence we came. If we are lacking supplies, we may also want to consider stopping in the village of Ada along the way. Or... We could just... Fast travel. Uh, zoom out. No, no, no. It's hit map button again. Oh, there we go. Okay, so it's wanted me to go all the way to here. Yes. Which is the first utilization of fast travel in this game thus far. She's just laying there like, sure, leave me behind in the cold. Yeah. She just breaks into fucking Big Smoke's order. Yeah. I would like a, I would like a two number nines, a number nine large, a number six with extra dip, a number seven, two number forty fives, a, 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 a one with cheese, and a large soda. No, you just you just go you just go to like soft reboot her and she starts playing like horribly bit crushed middies from an, from like a ninety scam site. No, you just go reboot her and she she, she, she just. Comes up and mouth starts moving. I got spurs. The jingle, jangle, jingle, jingle, jangle. And everyone's just like, what? <laughs> you think she can play fart noises for you like Alexa? <laughs> <laughs> oh no, I forgot about that. If some. If some if some fucking weirdo programmer snuck that into someone's home device, you know that someone snuck it into an Android somewhere at this time at this fucking point in history. Oh yeah, no, absolutely. 
Duma, fart for me. Okay. Oh. All right. Oh, hey. The pod's been confiscated. Hey, hold a moment. By the looks of it, someone has stolen the march on us. Man, what the fuck Friends is the Mythic Dawn doing here? Not sure. I don't think so. Um? Who's there? Well, that certainly answers my question. Move it or lose it, jerks! We don't have time for this! Yes, my crossbow that happens to make a gunshot sound. Oh, I guess I got two of them with it. Yeah, don't worry about it. Oh my god, these gun these gunners are actually really annoying in this game. Yeah, no. I'll tell you right now, this isn't the last time you face enemies like that. I mean, this is the second time, so yeah, I guess you're right. <laughs> At least they're made of fucking glass and paper. I feel like that's on purpose. But oh, you're also facing like a small, like Musou Something game style mob of them. Mm -hmm. How were they able to control the pod like that? Come to think of it, how'd they even figure out it was here in the first place? That's a good question, Ray. That's a good question, Ray. Contemplate unanswerable questions. Ray, man. I would advise that you focus instead on the. What are you talking about? Rayman's not real. Components the android requires. It's always been rabbits. Yeah. Rayman was a Harvard experiment. Hey, Elena. <laughs> Can you hear me? God, the blur is yeah. so aggressive. We found the pod. I don't remember it being this Just bad on the playing it on we'll the PC version. Understood. That might also be due to how the settings are tweaked. Behind it, you should find a panel. Open it. We get to dismantle it. Excellent. All right, Chris Redfield. Jesus oh, Christ. Sounds excited. I'm gonna punch it. Well, it's more the fact of like the whole. I want to take this radio apart to see how it works kind of deal. Oh, yeah, no. <laughs> Don't press the big red button. Tools could produce press the what? Such impressive uh, detail. Uh, uh, Uncle Midas, work now, ask later. Some tells me he's been getting his hand on some space tech. To obtain the parts necessary to replace my Simbo drive unit. This will require the removal of the pod's generator. When it's removed, you will be unable to make any more long-range subspace communications. Roger that. Let me call my brother real quick. So we're basically doing the hot equivalent of ripping out our Wi-Fi reception. Computer, right. get me Antonio Lawrence. Antonio Banderas. Unable to establish connection. What? Fine, then try my dad. Get me Raul Lawrence. Raul? Unable to establish really? connection. Long-range subspace communication. May be unable to reach the Virgold system at this time. What the hell? Ray, listen. So long as you're stranded here, you can't afford to lose your lines of communication. My recovery will have to wait. Sorry, but my captain's intuition is telling me otherwise. <laughs> We're getting you patched up, whether you like it or Just... not. But... I don't know if that scene of Duma floating up was necessary, way, but it definitely adds the idea up. that it's like silently <laughs> judging us this whole time. To right. you, huh? you gotta trust me on this one, okay? Everything will be fine. Understood. Beep boop. <laughs> also, missed opportunity to, to try and phone up Antonio and his answering machine is just Spider-Man pizza theme. Circuitry, followed by both my arm and hand. At which point I should be recovered enough to repair the remainder of my body. Oh, we dropped some. Estimated time until completion: seventy-two hours. Uh, okay. That's about the time I expected it would take. Leticia, I know this kind of derails things, but you cool to wait around? Of course, but Albert and I shall make the most of it. There is little doubt that many in the region witnessed the descent of Elena's craft. We will find out what they make of it. And we may discover the identity of those we caught snooping about your ship. Snooping as usual! <laughs> it is not without its dangers, I grant you. But if there are more of those men out there, it may affect Elena's chances at recovery. That's true, but it's a lot to ask. Where friends Just are smash cuts to Elena board and she's playing like Minesweeper on her own fucking like on like the core poking out of her body. Right. <laughs> 
I only need like one hand to play my trooper anyway. She can do it. Yeah. If my suspicions are correct, and those men are with the Empire, then we will need all the help we can get. So glad we, we got that joke. We will return to the shrine three days hence. Elena should be on her feet by then. Okay. Now Baird, but he doesn't have any facial hair. Yeah. So I guess we're fast traveling again. Oh, never mind. Yep, we are fast traveling again. Oh, me and Midas. All right. Let's yep. make oh, we are actually fast traveling. We have everything we need. You, you can. You absolutely yep. can. They're not making you walk all the way back. I feel like they wanted to, but they're not. They definitely wanted me to do that dial. Oh, okay. Yeah, definitely tell me not to fucking do this shit. Especially since it's just two people, I feel like that. To Elena. Time isn't on our side here. I feel like uh, the idea of no. How about you go fuck uh -huh. yourself? Hi, these weren't here before. Okay. I don't know if I want to get the jump on them or sneak past them. Uh, Benz. How how well do you think you would fare against uh th three three fucking Lothric knights uh, in a row? Well, I guess we're gonna have to find out. So notice how they don't disappear immediately on death. Yeah, I saw that uh, name. Where the fuck you go? War drama encore. Yeah. All right. Where's the bitch? There you are, you manta ray looking asshole. Steve Irwin sends his regards, bitch. Uh -oh. Ah, Christ. Oh, no. Oh, did it reset it? Uh, I reset positions. I don't think it resets health bars, thankfully. It, I think it did. Yeah. Ah, uh, balls. It's because I was getting too eager and comboing his ass. Yeah, you went outside of the, uh, the, the arena, basically. So I'll just... Son of a bitch! All right, they're they're not worth my durability or my patience. Durability got me thinking of Dark Souls now. <laughs> How dare you! Is that it? Nope. All right. Well, I'm assuming the puppet when the puppet masters go down. Yep. Okay. Yep. Now they finally like die for good. That's kind of clever. I haven't seen that in a while. They also don't have all that much health because of how easily they can be revived. Yeah. Damn, that was actually kind of clever. Not that it's original, but like, it's still appreciate. Oh, I thought, the I thought that was a door. I was like, oh, are we just going to trust the door now? For all I know, it will be later. Hey, you awake? Midas and I are here and ready to help. Just tell us where to start. Starts making that noise, the noise of the dentist robot service. to start smell functioning and screaming. Thank you. I suggest we begin by restoring the symbol drive. With that online, I'll be able to maintain power without relying on my limited battery supply. A portion of the main circuit has been damaged. Could you see that it's replaced with the part salvaged from your escape pod? All right. All, All right. right, we're doing this. Okay. For your safety, I'll be shutting down. Bring me back online once you've finished. What? Did she just die? Uh, think of it more like starts a going. deep sleep. Alright, let's get to work. Hey, oh, that's not even coming over the mic. Back. Oh. Uh, yeah, never mind. Right. The dentist robot malfunction. I, I was thinking more like she 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 winds up like making sounds like one of those dying push the talk uh, toys. Hopefully that did the trick. <laughs> let's bring her back. Stop it! Damn, son, that was loud. Again, right? Midas. The repairs you made were a success. Re-establishing symbol drive circuitry. Okay, I may have to do it by phone. Next, I must ask you to restore the use of my arms. But that should be the last step for you both. Oh, wait. Once you're finished, I'll be able to repair myself without too much trouble. We're almost out of the woods now. Well now, you heard the lady. Come on, lad. Let's get to it. Just give me a sec. Today's been a lot. This is delicate work, Ray. Try to stay focused. Pulls one cable and it's just like...
Let's save what remains for tomorrow. Oh, come on. Is it really not coming through? Okay. For a while now. <laughs> Fuck it. Beginning to affect your efficiency. I thought we were in a hurry. Even the most skilled engineers need a solid rest every now and then. Get your eight hours in. A point well made. This is not a request. As well. <laughs> Elena's like, this is delicate work. Sure what you better not fuck up. Your help. Hard cuts to surgeon simulator. Me. We both know I'm only getting in the way. <laughs> Just a montage oh, of all the people who have ripped out like a lung or a heart and flung it off screen. <laughs> Since we're laying our cards on the table, what happened between you and the crown? They pulled them my lawn. Highborns decided our work did not merit continuing. The royals, fools that they are, took their side. Eh, research cuts. Yeah, well, that's now pretty much what it is. It for so Midas also got fired from Twitter's uh, security it's staff. Not the girl I dislike, but what she represents. To aid her is to aid the kingdom. So keep your nose out. Yikes. Sorry. Just asking. You're worse than Albert. Oh, wait. Hostile entity detected. Oh, hello. Have you played Luffy yet? Oh, that's a fucking design. <laughs> what are you doing with that thing? Hey, dude, I think you got lost. The, the set of Childhood's End is like three blocks down. Any friend of it right. is an enemy of mine. And I won't let either of you consume another world. Oh, he... And I got oh my god. Okay, listen here, you. So you want to know a tip that'll make uh, stuff like that easier? If you hold down the button without actually doing a charge, it, you put up a shield and it absorbs any attack and that gives you an extra pip of AP for every attack it absorbs. Oh, this? Yeah. That, that is a straight up barrier. Neat. So if you feel like you can't dodge in time, you can just like turtle for a little bit. You, you can do X death strats. Fair enough. Slow <laughs> up mid fight. I cannot fall here. Not now. <laughs> Bye, bitch. Dude, just push my ass to the wall. <laughs> what is <this> fucking theme? <laughs> oh, I really hope this can be glitched out and just sends me into the sky. Oh, that would be hilarious. Oh, shit. I imagine getting a game over because you got too good and got yeeted into the sun. Right. Oh, all right. <laughs> Just start taunting him with Duma. What the fuck you gotta do? 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 <laughs> Oh, almost had him. Doom is just like, now I'm hostile since you, you're assuming stuff about it. <laughs> or about me. This is a pretty decently designed fight considering you're meant to do it with like one guy. It feels like there, there's like just enough lag on his actual attack executing to encourage you to try and get perfect dodges down. Like that? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh, what? It just fucking flash stepped on him. Like, do we call that a whiff or something else entirely? Oh god, and that's right, because you have the barrier up, that means you can technically get extra ticks if you have auto heal on. Yup. Just like... <laughs> oh, that's amazing. Let's read that shit out. This game has some goofy tech. You got blindsided by that. You're finished! You're finished. Also, I've been wanting to make a comment about the character model art, but I, I can't place the name of the game uh, on, off the top of my head. It's a game I have a soundtrack for, but I don't remember what it's called. But it's very it's very particular Japan-only game. Unknown. Race. All right. That's not cool. We don't we don't do that here. Hey, there Fucking you go. Whiff. 
the fuck are you gonna do? This just got horrible neutral, let's be fair. He got blindsided. He blindsided me right back. Oh no! Oh, what no. I do? This world too. Large man with horns. What the hell are you even talking about, man? No, oh, he. Oh wait, that was uh fucking minus. Never mind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was about to say he's got some fucking. Oh, I mean he's still got some tech, but like. I mean minus has just been hanging back, just chipping away at his shit. God, he is actually. There you go. Snap punching on me. I think he's trying to get a Kara off, but he's not quite doing the input right. Right. He's dark side filling it. Game's dropping the inputs. All right, you almost got him. He's got like a pixel. Light. There you go. <laughs> I was waiting for the right. Just store to right up the ass. <laughs> fucking beat him with the pommel. Just turn him into a shish kebab. Don't worry about it. Just like spin him around on it. And I had assumed. I was ill prepared. You may have won today's bout, but know this. So long as you dare to remain here, you will have to contend with me. Alright, bye. Here. Let him go. It's too dangerous. By the way, because you're looking away, you missed how he escaped. How did he escape? He literally jumps ah. off the screen and he What's and that's on? it. Oh my god. Was I was trying to look up the character artist for this. Another time, lad. Now we must finish the girl's repairs and fast. Like, if the dude's got mad, uh, if the dude's got fucking Ancaris air like that, why didn't he use it in the fight? God damn. Right? Ray, we have returned with ill tidings. Huh? Are you okay? You look terrible. I had my when ego bruised. I lost Kiva. Before her repairs were done. <laughs> Always fucking hilarious when they what? can't actually change the character models, it's so they're like, you look terrible, character asshole. looks exactly the fucking the hell same. Are the people on this rock with horns growing out of their heads? You guys ran into one, too. <gasps> I would hardly call our foe a giant, but he most certainly had the skin and horn you describe. This is actually a divergence point, by the way. You would have fought a completely different person if you clicked uh, Leticia as your point of view character. Perhaps, Interesting. For now, you should sleep. You may not have another chance for a while. And you look ready to keel over. We shall stand watch for you. We are more than capable. Please, rest while you can. Yeah, that might be a good idea, actually. All right. You guys mind waking Midas up before I... Before I... <laughs> good night, Ray. Letitia just walks up. You look like a puppy that just had the meal taken away from him. Damn, what? Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> Ray, it's time to get up. Wake up, Ray. <sighs> You're in a Chrono Cross cam here. You're awake, <laughs> finally. <laughs> you thinking whatever year this is, the, the Skyrim you're finally you awake meme is still prevailing? How are you feeling? Self repairs are I want to say it's been enough centuries that it's gone from being a dead horse to being an capacity. undead horse. I can move just fine now. Horse that continues to be revived wow, until the next Sky, uh, Elder Scrolls steps. game comes out. I almost said Skyrim. <laughs> Skyrim oh, too. Oh, oh, oh yeah. baby. Thanks, man. Nonsense. Any doctor or inventor would do the same. Now that I've recovered, I can assist you. So, Captain, status report. They still couldn't have given the android sleeves. That just seems rude. Right? Or Chloe's pants? Down here. Likely on the other side of the kingdom. I mean, she has pants. They're just not fight. that high. Leticia and the others have promised to help us out, thankfully. Thing is, I kind of had to promise them something in return. That I'd help cajole Midas into returning with them to the capital. As he's literally standing right there. Your efforts on that front will be in vain. This fucking Ethereometer. Midas. Oh my god, it is Should that exact ass head, isn't it? I never realized. For some reason or another, <laughs> it would be helpful to have someone familiar with my schematics besides <clears throat> Ray nearby. That way, any problems that arise could be quickly dealt with. Oh, and if I say no, 
then we would bid you farewell, and that would be that. Were I to require help on my journey, I would seek out a local semiomancer or engineer. <sighs> Enough, I'm coming. I've Albert's arm to consider after all. Uh, you will. But I'm only accompanying you lot for purely semiomantic reasons. I reserve the right to leave whensoever I wish. Appreciate it. Now, as for Chloe, any idea on how to begin our search? We have heard from reliable sources that Rifle's ports are meant to reopen in due course. And the quickest way to the easterly lands is by ship through the channel. Sounds like a plan. Come on, we got a boat with our name on it. As we walk away, Letitia slowly just like... Oh, she's a robot, right? Remember me? Oh, thank Roach, God. <laughs> the beautiful merchant magnate with genius level smarts. I need something like yesterday. I'll give you the deets in person. So come to my house in Delric ASAP. Do you copy? Ugh. A S A P. Okay. Tick tock, tick tock. Shut up, grapes. <laughs> okay, quick, be right back. Okay, we are back. And you're not the only one that got outrageously sick when you were a child. By the, the way, far from our Elena's actually location. a party member. You might want to check that out. Yes. Oh, shit. Once this finishes, so you extent, can actually open the menu. Rythal is located in Delvir, beyond the region of... Sorry, Marcus. don't mind me. <laughs> and that's after we get through the Adali region and the Larkus Weald. Right, now you can open the menu. Okay, so we have new. What are you doing back in the party? There. So, let's check out what she's got for her uh, skill tree and shit. Oh, I haven't even checked out him either. He oh was literally casting his basic. Okay, I gotta rectify that. That's that. Me. That explains why his damage seems so off to me. Yeah. Item creation. Oh shit, you haven't touched the item creation yet. Yeah, I will be doing that here in a bit. I think I... There was a warning that I just completely glossed over. Yeah, don't worry about it. Oh, it's literally the fucking... SO1 and 2 item creation. I was gonna say, uh, gym manufacturing, but alright. You good, babe? Yeah, back on We're probably not going to make this a very long stream today. I know this entire past week's worth of stream has not been long in general, but we're all under a bit under the weather here for one reason or another. 
All right, well, let's do this and this. What's it gonna be? The simulation is elementary once one identifies the components. You can skip this with a button tap anytime, by the way. I want to see it at least once as we go through the fucking, uh... As we go through 2001. the life from 2001. Yeah. You made slop. Congratulations. Vile goop for, is called healing. Target ally within a thousand meters. <laughs> Congratulations, Elena. You made you made fucking blueberry jam. Pretty much. All right, let's just do this then, because that was more than seven. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Fortitude potion. Oh, so this actual like bestows fifteen percent defense buff for twelve seconds. Just random ass. Uh, you you just make random consumables. And because you blitz through the tutorial, let me break things down a little more. As you uh, craft, certain recipes will give you uh, SP, which serves as experience to leveling up the next uh, to the to the next item creation level. However, you can spend your character's actual SP to boost it immediately, like in the old games. Oh, neat. Okay. And uh, if you as you learn as you keep crafting, just like SO one and two, you'll learn passives that can give you like uh, ex better chance at crafting through this method, better chance at uh, crafting items of a certain rare, etc, etc, and so on. And it gets to the point that, like, when you hit rank 10, whatever SP would have been used to rank up your uh, rank up your crafting level just gets added to your character's SP pool to learn other skills and shit. Oh, shit. So that's part of why I think they put, like, a, a cash gate behind crafting. Just because then you could just fucking print free skill points for your characters. Otherwise. Yeah, no, that's fair. Also, yeah, Elena. She is a bit of a, a very flexible character. As you see that all of her grids for, like, boosting her defense, her attack, etc. Are... You just went right for the JoJo one, didn't you? <laughs> yes. Good, good to know the spirit <laughs> of Cliff Fitter is being carried on by at least one of his skills showing up in every game since he was introduced. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's kind of cool. Oh, she literally has fucking round trip. Oh my fucking god, she literally has a round trip. So here's the so here's the other really cool thing with Elena. Her weapon is uh basically a class a unique class of weapon that can turn into different varieties, mostly ones that other characters don't use, like a scythe, like uh, Arumat used in four, or a whip like Ernest had in uh, two. Yeah. It's based on a weapon that uh, that recurs through the series simply called the laser weapon, which is usually a late gain weapon you can find that any character can equip and it has super high stats. Apparently the devs decided for her, they would just make it its own weapon class specific for her. I mean, fuck it. I am going to give her quite a bit here on one side of the branch because I noticed, well, like this side is the full utility side. This that, side is the stat side. Yeah, like that's like. the full bulk side. This is the full resistance and like intelligence side. That's still awesome. That that's literally just a DMC uh, round trip. That's also really cool. That's the other one, and... That's right, that's the fucking... Get the fuck out of here. That's the dunk. The fucking a Android 16 dunk. The Lythero special. Yep. Heavy. Right. Yeah, I'm just gonna, uh, I'm just gonna give her down there? this entire side. If it lets me, I'll, I'll give her the skill as well. I think it will. Assassin. Yeah, that's the uh, blind cider. Oh, okay, cool. That's everything spent. Yeah, that's just a fucking trickster skill. Yeah, so... <laughs> it's like, that half of her tree is almost done already, huh? Yeah, don't worry about it. That hourglass is almost full. Yeah. She has one passive skill. Two. Two. 50% chance to absorb... So she can just steal fucking buffs. You know, that's gonna rem that's never gonna come off. All right, now how do you want to set up her combos? Just start with that into that, and then 
Yeah, that feels fitting. No, but bu doesn't Bullet Hunter knock him back, though? Does it? Ah, sure, shit. Alright, well, let's do... See a Lancer? Uh... They all do. There. Yeah, because that's like a hard knockdown into like just beating the shit out of them. Yeah, so I already have a lamp. Uh, that one, Gladiator. So, Bullet Hunter. Yeah, that's the knockback. That's another knockback. I might have the range to hit them after Bullet Hunter, though, especially if it's a heavy enemy. And what do I have left? Sure. Wow, she's already got a full-on fucking combo. She's better developed than fucking Ray right now. Three, four, five, six, seven. No, we're good. That's it. Gunner. Which is... Range the literally tactic. just a... You I, know what? Hold up. I, I like that it specifies uses real bullets. Uses real bullets. Uh, what did I replace? Was that... Gladiator? No. Was it Assassin? Yeah, okay. Yeah, like, you could try, like, We're... Assassin, Fists of Fury, and then, like, the knockback from Bullet Hunter for that last one. That doesn't sound like a bad idea. Oh, I'm just gonna make all that fucking knockbacks and all this, I don't know. But this is, like... Also remember that if you assign something to the press and hold, uh, the AI will still use those. Fair enough. Yeah, the Horizon Breaker, that's what I was talking about. It's, like, the same model as the laser weapon from old games. You know, that's valid. Also, I'm gonna do a Cardinal Sin- Oh, there's no... Auto-complete? Or autofill? I guess not. Huh, alright, well... I'm then... personally not bothered by that, because I never use that shit. I, I use it, like, well enough if the game actually stats nicely in that direction. It rarely does, which is why I rarely use it. Uh, yeah, sure. And, yes. There. Now you're just a fucking, <laughs> the death dealer. <laughs> Alright, what about Midas? What's he got? Well, first let's see what we've been missing with him. Oh, let's yeah, see. fair enough. <clears throat> Fantasia. A kick aimed low, used on a downed enemy for extra 200% damage when target is downed. Which we don't have any downers yet. Oh, okay, well. That, yeah, that's just a fucking buy, bitch. Yeah, no, that's... That's happening. It lets me. Alright, well, that's replacing something on my skill tree, or my uh, uh, hotbar. Just throw some extra fucking... There we go. Just one for the road. No big deal. Alright, Midas. Yo, what the fuck is your skill tree? Jesus Christ. It looks like a rocket. It kind of does, doesn't it? Do you crush? Okay, so it's mostly spells, it looks like. Oh, that was not what I expected at all. <laughs> Lightning blast. I think in... I think in uh... He's got the Midas touch, right, Becky? Yep. Oh, also, Lightning blast is really good for how easily you can get... Malcolm bringing up a, a, a splat of pink. Mm-hmm. Sorry, I'm catching up on chat here. And Dark Sight feeling it. He's, so he's go, uh, going bankrupt, spending money on, on WWE gacha games. No, he he moved on to uh, another gacha game that's also running him bankrupt. It is confirmed that he actually has a severe gambling addiction. Oh my god. Yeah, like, I don't know if I want to mock him for it. No, or that like that's something I genuinely cannot mock him for if it's a compulsion problem. Chance of causing confusion for 15 seconds. It's weird that it's weaker than Lightning Blast despite being further in, but I guess it has better range. Oh, it's a uh, multi hit. Look. Uh. Watch. Any fucking second now, please. Boom, 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 boom. Yeah, it's a multi hit. Uh, okay, that makes sense. Uh, Windblade Final Chant. I mean, Mansky. Oh, hold on. Oh, these are also completely different from how they function normally. That's like shorter range. And the. What's the final chant version of Windblade? Just boop. Oh, that's just like a focused, like slowly moving ball instead of curling blades. That's okay. See, wind chant is that has to combo into something, surely. Terra hammer and thunder flare. Uh, I gotta see. 
God, but I wish they took a mercy and showed, like, this is how fast it could go if you had, like, max cast time reduction. Oh, it is literally just flare. Oh, yeah, no. Thunder flare's always been pretty good from what I remember. Terror hammer. It could stun lock you like a bitch in SO3. I remember that. I bet. Any second now. There we go. Oh, that... That could be useful for a big group of enemies. Yeah, that's not a bad AoE. Let's see, Firebolt. I'm looking to see uh, for more of the... Yeah, see, there's a variant. Ice Needles and Ice Needles Final Chant. So... I say go for one of each element. Oh my god, I forgot he has this. So, okay. You Spigle? know why this is significant? This is an infamous attack used by one of the uh, endgame bosses of SO2 by the 12 Wise Men. Oh my fucking god, he literally falcon punches that shit. Just like in SO2. Jesus. I, I think that's used by Michael of the Twelve Wise Men. So he just has the the infamous attack of a of an endgame boss in his moveset. Acid rain. Okay, so he just starts with Windblade, I guess. He starts with Windblade and uh Earthclave. Earthclave, yeah. Okay, well I'm gonna let him actually get to that point. And we're just I'm just gonna beeline for it. I was going to say get uh, Ice Needles and Firebolt just for the versatility, then do it. Uh, I'll do it after the fact, because, like, I want to add this also this. Because... <laughs> yeah, your maze being confused sure ain't great, huh? <laughs> no, I can tell already. It's going to be horrible. 666. Not to be confused with the uh, the wise men. Let's see, Firebolt and Ice Needles. Yeah. Okay, perfect. Now we have that. God, they really get a lot of fucking SP starting off. Well, yeah, because they have all the SP they would have gotten if they leveled up naturally, which is super fucking good. Yeah. It also that's helps it. that SP isn't capped at 999 like it was in SO1 and 2. Where so... you could just miss SP outright. Yep. And characters that join oh. you at higher levels outright have uh, less, go take longer to get their stuff built up. That's rough. Thankfully, because of the, the the extra SP you get from, like, learning passives through item crafting, it can be offset. But it's still a little fucking... Gotta give her her enchant. I never really use these all that often, to be fair. I wanna see how they look. Fair enough. Vampire we... <sighs> and it specifically says allies all. Yep. Oh my god. You're, like, one level up away from it. I know. I'm so mad. Uh, who is this? Uh, oh. Nina. Okay. Bell, Bell healer girl. Okay, cool. I'll give her more shit Uh, then. you mind if I give you a little nudge on what you could go for? Yeah, the, the healer, she feels like a very complex, uh, character, so I, uh, I do, I do want a little bit of, uh, To the left or right, I think. Reverberate. Revives incapacitated and recovers 60% HP. Don't have to tell me twice. And that's at level one. Remember, you can upgrade skills. Uh, what's cheaper? I won't get it this time, but... You may as well get the intelligence up, because that does boost your healing power. Yeah. What's up? Are we gonna order, uh, food? It, it would have to be me, then. Okay. We'll wrap up here, uh, to... That's fine. You are clearly sick. Make sure to wear a mask. Wear a mask and let whoever is taking over for you know. Uh oh, she only has sixty-seven. Uh, yeah, SP. I'm just gonna sit on that. Fair enough. Uh, uh, he's fine. I'm just kidding. <laughs> like, like, I've actually fucked with... Like, I, I can actually confirm uh, from where I am. He does get better as you go on. Yeah, I'm, I'm not gonna be that guy. Uh, especially if you do, like, his uh, private is... actions in town, which he has a lot of because he's... Because I'm assuming this game is, like, uh, That'll be SO3, where characters have individual starting... Uh, relationship values with others so some can have like relationship values that are through the fucking floor okay so that's that i want to get that next because that feels like that'd be useful that's just royal guard yeah that's just literally fucking royal guard his fucking tree feels 
grossly undercompleted compared to everyone else's. Yeah, like it's weirdly spread out. I get that some of these are meant to be like unique shapes of some kind, but like, like, like something about this gives me fucking temporary party member you leave behind vibes. Yeah. But but he's also still with me in my file, so I don't know. Maybe you were right and there's like a thing that comes later where you get more nodes or something. Maybe? Oh, alright. I was gonna try her out her combo. This should do it. Stay where you are. She literally just has a PSO fucking sword. Yeah, she does. It's photon saver that shit. Wow. It's weird to me so how rare those actually are in this game, despite it being billed as a sci-fi. Right. Meanwhile, she's just like, yep. Now we're going back to the port town again, or you can drop by and visit Welch and likely unlock another item crafting thing. Oh yeah, that is unabashedly just fucking star platinum. Builds up AP like a motherfucker too, Jesus Christ. Yeah, because I think every hit to a blindsided or surprised enemy gives you AP, so something like that is very nice to have as an opening volley. Oh my god. Just melting HP over here. I came out of maintenance fucking ready for violence. Yep. Clearly. I've acquired something of note. I wonder if she first met Ray when he was just a child and she was holding a gift box in an arcade that turned out to hide a shotgun. I bestow upon you. Shooty bang. I mean, I was making a Terminator 2 reference, but okay. That also works. Oh shit, I missed that. Bit, 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 bit. Don't worry, just skip. <laughs> <laughs> to my loo, my darling. Well, it put me where I wanted to be, right? <laughs> I have acquired something of note. Look, you can't help but wonder or think that there was something over here. Uh, maybe there will be later, because I noticed this game does spawn Duma points to past areas, despite never telling you to go back there. So there's like a implicit incentive to keep uh, backtracking to areas if you want more uh, upgrades and shit. It's gonna cost her an arm and a leg. God damn it. You mean it hasn't already? You think she could do the Buzz Lightyear thing where she can just pop off her arm whenever and wave it in through a window? Half on Storm and the cat! Or maybe it's more like Sally from Nightmare Before Christmas. She just like rips off a leg and like does like a weird uh, and, and does like a weird pose and, and th through like the side of a door frame to try and allure someone and then comes behind him with a fucking metal bat. Except it's not a metal bat. She just takes a sword and full s uh, wholesale stabs him in the chest. No, she just takes her horizon breaker. It first spawns the sword. She like rejiggers it. Then it turns into a nice big bat and she castanzas the fucker. Okay, that is definitely somewhere we're, we're going to be going. Oh, wait, that's literally... Okay, yeah, we're going to be going there right now. We can literally just fast travel there. It just wants us to go back to another place we've been. I want to break around. <laughs> Fair enough. Like these phases. I broke it in. Fucking coin counter again. You know, oh, what's, you, a, you know you, what's a really cool detail that they tell you in the uh, mystery, by the way? That eye patch is not aesthetic. It actually uh, affects their uh, field of view. That explains why he was blindsided. Oh, all right, bye. Yep. If you can tell which side the eye patch is on, they are hilariously easy to get surprise attacks on. Can that be canceled? Not that I want to, but rhetorically speaking. <laughs> Yeah, this was empty earlier. But, uh, no, I made a joke about fucking coin counter over there being, uh, having the voice of Big the Cat. Oh, God. Have you seen my club? You cannot escape your sins, Raymond. I, I imagine he's trying to make sure Sonic can't, can't move on without uh, forgetting his sins, considering that he apparently lets him handle Blue Ring Octopi with his bare hands. What? You can catch Blue Ring Octopi in uh, Sonic Frontiers. Oh my god, we may have to stream that at some point. After all that focused work, these mountain roads are really kicking my ass. 
like for the record for people who don't know why that's a big deal uh blue ring octopi uh basically emits such a virulent poison it can kill a full-grown person within minutes so imagine a three foot tall cartoon hedgehog handling that son of a bitch just drops dead and fucking turns into a, a to the rim world death acidifier uh hits the ground she needs to call her cpu god the outfit is not for aesthetics my cpu is just in intel <laughs> everyone just goes oh that makes sense raid's like wait how do y'all know <laughs> oh my god you got fucking frame canceled <laughs> It's so good. Just ran up and she just went, no, I'm not stopping. <laughs> Literally got fucking loopied. I can't, believe these I can't believe they actually gave these goofy bastards battle cries. Oh, the fucking coin counter motherfucker? The, the ogres, yeah. Oh, it is on a different eye every single time. Yep. I was making a joke about this dude being like a, a Zaku looking motherfucker, but like, yeah, no, eh? That's funny. Too slow. Too slow. Too slow. You think it's, like, you think it's less that they actually have to wear it on their eye and more like they just can't afford contact lenses? Maybe. I'll have you know I'm younger than Marcus. I regularly had to travel south to Larkus and Rifle from Ada for supplies on foot. Oh my god, is he really doing the back in my day we walk through snowstorm shit? I think so. You know how old Midas actually is, by the way? How old? 37. Also, uh, she has a sight scope? Technically, whatever the equivalent is, I've noticed, I'm noticing icons that we've not seen before. Uh, I think that's unique to her, where, like, she has a passive that lets you see enemy weaknesses if you, uh, do the VC thing. Fair enough. It, there, there would be more details of it in, like, her, uh, skills, skill set. Oh, that's fair. I'll check it out here in a, uh, either after stream or later on. So I'm trying to keep a, a much more brisk pace this stream around, uh, this time around. You can just fast travel to town, then. I hit the wrong button. <laughs> you can tell that I've been using this outside the PS5. So this is the second time this has happened not, uh, now. Where I'm just like, oh, I'm gonna hit the select button! Alright, so are we going to town <laughs> or are we going to visit Welch first, actually? Because uh, Welch would get us another item crafting uh, option. Oh, it would, wouldn't it? All right, where where the fuck is she? Uh, she's in Delric. Did I not fast travel to Delric? You fast traveled to the Delvia region, not Delric Village. I fast traveled to the quest icon. Like going to Georgetown does not mean you are technically in Seattle. I prefer Jamestown. Hmm. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Yeah, I fucking got you with that. You do that to me all the fucking time. I got you. Oh, there's more fucking gems up above. What the hell? Yeah, no, fuck him. I'm tired of getting him now. <laughs> what the fuck? Okay, okay, no. Hold up. I'm tired of getting him, I say, as I proceed to go to the fucking minecarts to get these goddamn things. I'm gonna be a Steve main on... On Smash, upset every pro player demanding the character to be banned. Well, why do all the DLC characters have so much frame invincibility? Oh my God, it's it's awful skill issue, man. At this point, referee has officially said that. Just like learn to compensate, bro. It's what fucking fighting games is all about. If you've ever played one, there there any also it like any fighting game that is nothing but five five matchups tends to be boring as shit. Just straight up. I mean, that's Smash in a nutshell. It's just, oh hey, uh, what you know? Three people are going to be at the top, uh, top of the brackets this time. Like, yes, I know that y that y that Yon is a pain in the ass to fight in third strike, but you know what? When you finally kick his ass, it feels great. Yeah. Oh, I have max iron. All right. Well, I gotta go to fucking grapes. 
I, I do kind of wish that you could, like, upgrade the amount of, like, Sweet. crafting materials you could hold on a stack, at least. Recovery items I get. I wish you could just auto-sell them. Well, you can, just only when they drop from, like, enemies or breakables. Oh. You sure took your sweet time, did not I say, ASAP? I got here as quickly as I could, all right? Save your apologies, we're short on time anyway, thanks to you. I need you to get me this. Now that I've made my request, show me some real urgency. No matter how much you scrub, they'll never come off your skin. Fresh sage. Yeah, I could oh, that's easy. That's literally just a walk to the item shop and back. I was about to say, I could just go to the item shop. Why isn't she doing it? Why I can't grapes do it? I can think of an actual reason why, but I'll wait for her to say it. Anyone home? She's actually building her shop. Hey, buddy. Hello. Hello. Good job, man. I'm buying a few because I do need some. Yeah, of course. Here. Just just to be safe. Because yeah. if your healer gets down, to that's a big issue. The healer that I don't have in the party. Everybody's got auto heal. <laughs> mm. Which has served mm. a good purpose thus far, except for the last two fights. A except... <laughs> It served a good, great purpose in when I'm fighting specifically trash mobs that are meant to be taken down in like 40 seconds or less. Look, X is gonna give it to you. X is gonna give it to you. They never talk about what Y or Z has in store for you, though. Oh my god, I actually kind of don't like her. What if they gave up halfway through? Ooh, if they did, they're gonna get a handy stick to the face. You even watch that thing? I, got I imagine you would have to. She probably uses it to pick her nose when no one's looking. And me? What? A worry? I knew from the start you'd deliver. Never lost my faith in you one bit. Look, when you don't have to actually get your finger dirty, it's a good option. Excellent. You've gotten everything I needed. Now I can complete that work in progress. I use this to scratch places I don't normally do in public. Well, that is a secret exclusive to me. It's my butt. Thanks. She spoke so many times with this the Oh, that would actually that that would actually be pretty in character for her, to be fair. Well, aren't you impressed? Remember though, it, it, it's a secret to everybody. Okey doke. I'll give you a bunch Scared of to get DMCA'd there, there, Vineyard? Be ready to move at a moment's notice. Grape off of the Yeah, we're slowly assembling her fucking crafting shop. I can see it. Yep. So we gotta pick up another one from her, or does she already give it, or are we just kind of? Fine by me. No, she'll she'll literally phone you up again when she wants another one. Okay. Okay, I kind of figured out what was going on. We're literally crafting her fucking gear shop. So what does she unlock this time? Oh, what? Uh, hitting the right button this time, please. No, no, I hit the wrong button twice, but it Come didn't on, hit screenshot. Can... Yay! There we go. I hit screenshot. <laughs> He did it! I'm like, did I hit screenshot? And then I proceed to hit screenshot on purpose this time. I'm, hmm. I can probably gonna do just keep maxing strike gain until it's. Well, remember you can also equip three of the base performance skills. Yeah, that's a good point. I would say reduced VA use for shield because later fights that is actually super helpful in my experience. Improvements in general awareness confirmed. Think you're gonna improve your volume control then, Duma? Too I can barely just, hear you. Duma's just like, Hello, I am off in the distance, reminding you that I am very loud. <laughs> I, I imagine Raymond found a, found a fucking dial and just turned it down because he's too used to his home assistant just waking him up. And by home assistant, I mean Elena just standing right over him with a hot tray of fucking breakfast in bed, which he dumps on his lap without the actual, like, tray part underneath. Oh, so he's just got a hot metal plate of eggs and bacon on his crotch. Oh god. Look, cutting edge androids means there's usually some kinks you gotta work out. I mean... Probably. Sometimes you ask... I, I imagine there's a scene that we never saw back in the day where he asked her for a cup of coffee like in the prologue, except they were still adjusting the gyros in her arm, so she just clocks him in the face with the fucking mug. Oh no, I don't do that very often. Yeah, that's fine, but you still gotta fix my nose. Don't worry, I'll do it. 
Whack! It, it, it's, it's like the automatic- This is broken the other direction now! It's like the automatic arm for, for feeding the, like, the baby where it just <laughs> punches it in the face and drops the bottle on the doll. <laughs> <laughs> Just dumps a whole cup of coffee, cup of coffee onto Ray's head. Not, not even like a cold cup of coffee. Just the whole cu hot cup, still steaming, and he's just like, oh, oh, <laughs> oh, oh my God! There's even more up in the corner over there. I'm trying not to pay attention to it. Stop it! <laughs> I'd be doing this for another thirty minutes. I can't be suboptimal. I can't. Mm. Wait, where are we gonna look at crafting? Oh shit, yeah, thank you for reminding me. It's fine. We need to get out of uh, here anyways. Yep, item creation. We got Oh, we literally got crafting. Crafting. Uh Alright, well I'm just gonna do this. Oh, oh. Alright. Remember we also have to slowly level these up, so maybe just do like the trash materials. You do have like, like a shitload of iron. <sighs> Should be a fun change of pace. I made us. Not what I expected. Sacrificial idol. All right. Is it random? It is. But it also scales based on what your skill Not level what I is. Expected. Hey, look. Wonder if we're going to get a character that uses gauntlets later. God, I hope now. With them looking like that. Homie just crafted the world's worst of fucking. Uh, world's worst fucking. Uh, Nail kit. Congratulations, you made acrylics so bad we're calling them acrylics. More sacrificial dolls is actually welcome. Should be a fun change of I think pace. you can also sell those for like a hundred fall of pop, so that's actually a profit. Oh, it's a plus two at least. Oh my god, leveling takes forever. Uh, there is a passive that does make it go faster, but you I still expected. have to learn it completely at random through doing crafting. I'm not even looking at the items that I'm crafting. Yeah, that's how it be. Not what I expected. Not what I expected. Although remember, this is also them trying to balance for the fact that once you max this out, you I can expected. just farm free SP to do whatever. All right, well, I'm getting ready to spend some of that fucking mithril just to see what happens. Not what I expected. Uh, literally just the same shit you would make with iron. I've tried. Rug. Yep. Should be a fun like it is not worth it until you get up to the higher level. Okay, that one's nice. Well, let's just burn the Should iron so we can get our slots back. Oh, that's bright. Not what I expected. Should be a fun change. Oh, that's bright. Yeah. Not what I expected. Not what I expected. Not what I expected. Be a fun See, a Maestro of Seymour looks at the screen. Ah! Not what I expected. Should be a fun change. <laughs> Tell All me right. to iron out the kinks. God. Oh my god, I forgot it does that. You see that in the corner over there? What? SP acquired zero. Some recipes just don't give you SP at all. I hate it. I mean, those those items have utilities, I so I kind of don't care too much. I do. Yes, we are ironing out the kinks. Should be a fun Is the kink a good band? I've heard people talk about him. Should be a fun change. I don't fucking know. Stop making power rings. Should be a fun change. Gotta give them all to your best. What I expected. To your besties. Now, if you made power stones, then we could talk. Not what I expected. More power rings. Should be a fun change of pace. Not what I expected. All right. Well, on the bright side, we at least burned all the iron. Yeah, don't worry about it. That's that's not going to have any repercussions on this planet's atmosphere or anything. Just burning like twenty pounds of iron. Let's burn more scruffy rags. Should be a fun. About what I expected. About what I expected. I'm gonna burn another scruffy rag. Should be a fun change of pace. About what I expected. About what I expected. About what I expected. I'm gonna burn another. Welcome to Cornelia. Rag. Should be a fun change of pace. Welcome to Cornelia. About what I expected. About what I expected. About what I expected. I'm gonna burn Should a scruffy a rag. About what about I about what I expected. Be a fun change of pace. About what I expected. Well, I expected. Oh. Remember, you uh, actually want to collect those for a side quest, remember? Oh, tattered, tattered robes? Yeah, some some weirdo in town wants like five of those. Alright, well. Should be a fun. 
about what I expected. I like how we could do this off screen, but we're choosing not to, because why the fuck not? It's about what we expected. About, about what I expected. expected. Should be a fun, fun change of pace. pace. About, about what, what I expected. expected. Should, be a Should be a fun change of pace. pace. This is oh, not what I expected. expected at all. <laughs> it just suddenly gets re really dour and goes, This is not what I expected at all. <laughs> he, he's just like sitting there sweating. He he had like a little pile of rags. Suddenly he's created a recipe for the hydrogen bomb of several centuries ahead of time for this planet. He's just like, Oh no. Alright, sure. Scruffy Rag, what do you do? Successful craftsmanship. Just nimble fingers. That's usually plus the craftsmanship. There. Finish. Oh, because it's low level, it's just the same shit. About what I expected. <laughs> Frankman just speaks in place of her. About what I expected. Why do you do this to me? Should be a fun change. About, About what, I what I expected. Okay, we're done. He just walks off with her fucking Red Rider stapler, and she just, and her eye just starts wigging out like a glitching an animatronic <laughs> at the fucking Chuck E. Cheese. Yeah, you saw that. The, the item list just off the screen. I, w I wish the game just handled overflow like that, where when you have a bunch, it just it says one pop up and you need to stop. God, he's saying you're getting events. The fuck you gonna do? That Nothing. level disparity, yo. You should have ju just fled, plain and simple. Yes, you can, bitch. Whoa, fucking main character of another anime over here. I think we just killed him so hard we sent him into an isekai. <laughs> Maybe he'd rather have died. And he's just is like, oh no, I'm gonna end up in, in, in reincarnated as a sword. Because that's the new isekai trend, is reincarnated as an inanimate object. Because, you know, what better way to convey personality by making no personality whatsoever? It's clever writing, it's okay. You just convey the uh, the personality through the writing that you don't know how to do. I can't wait for someone to actually green light, uh, green light Son Wang Cho to make that actual Lucerum anime. What? Did, did you not see that Pro ZD sketch? No. Where, where it's like Cherim anime, where it's an, like a romance anime, but all the characters are inanimate objects except for the girl. Oh my god, he literally just did he, fucking... He predicted sh shit exactly like this, like, five years ago. And it, what's even funnier, it's it, it's literally a joke based on Hatoful Boyfriend. Yep. For the record, go play that game, by the way, it's amazing. I have I have seen footage of it, it is not bad. Like, it, it goes places that, that you would not expect, and I'm spoiling it by saying that. <laughs> but also, Oku is the best. Gonna blindside him. No, Wait, go. why is the nuclear energy bird from Toho in there? Oh my god. You did not expect me to make that reference. No, it's the fact that the two and two got put together suddenly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, did it just tell me enemy level is low, so I'm gonna get reduced experience? No, it, it was saying threat level low as in, hey, these guys are a bunch of jokers. We all need a Yadakarasi in our lives. Didn't yeah. you guys get attacked by some weirdo the last time you passed through here? We did. Can't help but wonder, does he have something to do with the people who downed me and closed the box? Oh shit. Can I just try to double blindside a bit? The continent that lies to the south of Asarius. Various and sundry races inhabit that realm, so it is not out of the question that one of them remains undiscovered. Now that you mention it, since Elena's pod flew over Nilbeth on the way in, maybe someone there saw it and decided to follow her to this continent. To that point, Nilbeth possesses technology and semiomancy that neither Osirius nor the Vale Empire do. Perhaps a few overweening semiomancers wish to leverage their position. Let's hope it's nothing more. I really hope this isn't a situation where they just utter one particular keyword and we're all just made really uncomfortable for the rest of the game. 
What, like moist? No, like the Garleans have been still doing. I really feel like 14's writers did forget that they were supposed to run the Garleans back. Uh, in what regard? The whole savages thing. Oh yeah, right. There are still some straggling NPC dialogue. Well, I think those are like old NPCs that haven't been tweaked to fit the uh, post-game world state. That's fair. It doesn't help that I have like the a the added context of uh, watching Mini Minutemen or Mi Mini Minuteman, who uh, very much put into my into my brain. Oh yeah, there are people who uh, like the Garlean ordeal was not based on you know, some illogical extreme. In fact, it is understated. Hmm. Because, uh, there's a lot of archaeologists in, during a particular set of years that would absolutely not. Yeah, but also people who would think, you know, oh, this ancient culture had this light bulb. Clearly it was given by aliens, and the first words out of everyone's, are out of, uh, fucking Milo's mouth is, so what, you think that they're not capable of that sort of technology? What, you think they're savages or something? And it, like, he breaks into the rant and I'm just like, Oh no. 99% of white of conspiracy the theorists are white supremacists. <laughs> mm-hmm, there you go. <laughs> I mean, they're not exactly shy of the fact that uh, the way the Garlean Empire is structured is very obviously based on, like, uh, World War II fascist countries. Yeah. Also, Becky, I didn't know you were uh, a native. Well, huh. indigenous. Indigenous. Yeah. There we go. It explains the bird affinity, actually, quite a bit. In a good way, affectionately. Uh, b -b 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 I'm trying to think. Because there's that whole thing of, like, uh... Weren't there, like, relics found of, like, some ancient civilization that came up with a very early version of what we would call a light bulb, actually, speaking of that? Uh, no. That or is was actually it a false. battery? Uh, also false. Oh, those are false? Both of those are false. Oh. Uh, you're thinking of the Baghdad battery and the, uh, fucking, what is it, light? There's li okay, I'm just going to link you this dude, this dude's YouTube, uh, YouTube channel. You'll love him. But, but shorthand version, th those are both, like, not real. Yeah, they're not, they're not, the one, they're not that, and two, those are actually the exact videos I was referring to. Okay. <laughs> I'll, I'll link you the dude's YouTube channel and let you go down the rabbit hole that I've been going down randomly. It, like, it's actually really fun, uh, like, just seeing, uh, Milo go into that talk, and his general enthusiasm for archaeology. Like, the the dude's got yeah. probably my favorite approach to explaining shit that would normally be kind of boring for most people in ways that are like, no, th I think we're in luck. You know what they say, when ships come to dock, birds arrive by the flock. This must mean the fairies are up and running again. Okay, that is water. Look at all those birds. I was like, um. I doubt a mere fleet of ships brought. Either it's water, or there was a Genshin Impact convention nearby. I was gonna make a remark about giants roaming in. Ah, oh, filthy pests! You are a fucking Please, braver are soul than right? I am. Ugh, not fine, but nothing good would come from fraternizing with you royals. I think it's the other way around. Karma for you being such a sourpuss. What was that? I will say it's pretty cool they actually took the time to like render a white splotch on his armor. Hmm? What's up, Elena? Is something wrong? No. I like Nina. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the stench. Like, at first, I was like, oh, she's just the perky she's healer She's just girl. the tag-along kid. And then, like, she starts taking the piss out of Midas, and I'm just like, oh, you... Oh, girl. I like you now. <laughs> the of people on the streets taking a huge dive. It's not kidding, by the way. They actually did reduce the number of NPCs that are wandering around at this point. Oh, yeah. Sorry to spring this on you all, but can we hit up Dr. Vanell's for a second? No. I've got a really bad feeling about this. Why don't we play some SOA? <laughs> That's actually what I was about to joke about doing. Uh, I'm not gonna I do it. I, I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be real with you. I'm kind of not a fan of it. 
literally the only reason I'm doing it is because I figure the accessories, uh, the playing pieces as accessories are not bad. Um? Oh. Dr. Vanell, what's going on with the village? An epidemic. There you are, Nina. I'd love to know the same. It's been this way since the first fairy arrived from the east. Oh no, they imported porn and no one knows do what to do with warned, it. But I believe we should vacate the area as soon as possible. Why? I just got back from the Institute! This village might be experiencing an outbreak. If any of you, especially Ray, got infected... I just got back from this country in the Ray? east and they developed this technology. <laughs> and they have these pictures of people who are actually Isn't exposing their cankles. About this? Some to just show that to some sailor off in the corner and he has a heart attack. Okay, so I have a theory about what's going on right now. Mm -hmm. Not a cure for the malady. I don't think Ray's at risk right now. Get this straight. Ships brought this disease with them, right? No. Meaning it originated somewhere in the east. Hmm. Thus, no, Ray. Worst case scenario, the whole eastern half of the kingdom could become infected too. No, Ray. Therefore, if we just leave this disease to spread, it would still pose an immense risk to you and Chloe at the very least. Understood. Elena, Just to be safe, you should however, know. Everyone besides Nina should move as far away from this infirmary as possible. I also strongly encourage the use of face masks. Cloth will suffice if none are available. If we had, if we had face cams, we would be looking directly at everyone watching this right now. The know. moment she said face masks. Elena will provide mm -hmm. help. But Just also, on the details. I, I, if, I'm hoping I'm right, and if I am, I'm really proud of this no, game for doing it but i have the skills and knowledge comparable to one we'll see also it's impossible for me to become infected i can safely examine the most ill of patients could she technically still be a carrier this though is ground zero ray i mean she Take doesn't have biological systems but she could technically still have the bacteria cling to her depending on what kind of infection it is that's fair oh i really hope that it's what i think it is let's just hold up here for the day I don't want to incur Elena's wrath. I'm curious as to what form that would take. I'm sure it would make for quite the spectacle. She just sure, starts air man than I. At any rate, I must go. Some of us have to wash. She just picks him up stiff as a board and throws him through a wall. All right, Kicks man. down the door, has a the gold meantime, hammer in hand. Sit tight until we hear word from Nina and Elena. You just hear the do 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 as she's swinging it up and down. She just no, she just picks it up and go. I'm a Mander villain woman! <laughs> Can such flimsy cloth truly prevent us from contracting the illness? No. Not really, but it's still better than nothing. I'm glad they said that. Plus, you're not just wearing one for your own health. If you ever get sick, it'll keep you from infecting other people. To some extent. This is incredibly pointed. I don't understand. How does the act of covering one's mouth and nose prevent the spread of disease? Oh, right. You're not really up on bacteria and viruses, are you? <laughs> Would really like to ask Midas just how much people here know about that kind of thing, but... Where is he? Still getting his beauty sleep? And here's the point where you can tell they brought specialists in the writing room, I guess. No, I don't think this is a specialist situation. I think this is them literally looking at the camera and just staring for a good five minutes going... Hmm. You hear that? Hmm. The pandemic isn't over just because you're over it. I, I don't care how good the Broadway shows are. Be careful, you son of a bitch. Right. The amount of people on a bus that was without masks. Hey, Midas. The hell you still in bed for? Time to get up and face the day. Ray, please, not a step further. Huh? Contact Elena this instant. He could be in danger. Uh, okay, you got it. Gee whiz, I wish this entire section could be dated. Elena, you busy right now? Mm. Looks like there's something wrong with Midas. I wouldn't be surprised if at least one person who is in the writing room for this is like, God, I wish this get, I hope this becomes His dated as soon as this game comes out. Somebody shout, fever. somebody shouting in the back room. I wish this would age like cheese! There are we definitely to topics to writers hope become dated however. and this feels like one of them. Those birds, feces. Oh! Ugh, why do we need that? Oh! Because it serves as a breeding ground for a specific type of bacteria. That bacteria causes Helgar's disease, or colloquially, 
the rot. Oh, this is literally bird flu. Yes. Oh, this probably hit really hard in Japan. Leticia, remain calm. It may be a fatal disease for the people of this planet, but it can be eliminated. Is that really possible? Yes. I read through all the research in Nina's possession. Using that, we should be able to create an antibiotic. We cannot, however, fashion it out of thin air. I'll need multiple samples of the microbe. As it resides in birds' fecal matter, that's what we'll collect. Aren't you overlooking something? Rysel is a veritable aviary at this point. With this many birds here, isn't it already too late to save the town? No, in fact, this is probably the prime place to make a vaccine. Plants, but there aren't many people infected. Why is unclear, but the samples will help elucidate that. Also that? Don't worry, I will do the actual collection. So where do we find these samples? The port? No, in the many roosts that have sprung up all over town. <laughs> By observing their flight patterns, I discovered something. Each bird belongs to a distinct social group. If we investigate the nests of these groups, it should yield invaluable information. We've not a moment to lose. Also, I'm still thinking about the uh, bur the affinity for birds remark, and I'm really hoping that it didn't come off way worse than I intended. It's so the more that I think about that, the more I'm just like, oh no, did I accidentally do a bad? Mm. It, I mean, it's not really a stereotype per se. It, like, if if it, if I were to go that route, I'm not one. I'm not gonna go that route. But I could have picked worse animals for that. Also, too. Uh, what, what what's the fucking specific phrasing I'm trying to think of. Do not attribute to malice what can be explained with ignorance. Unwilling yeah. ignorance. Like, it, it's... I live in Texas. So... You get exposed to the, these things, and it, where, while it doesn't feel like a stereotype in Texas, other states it may be so. Mm. Which is why I'm just kind of like... Eh, Like, again, I could have picked significantly worse animals to attribute that to that would have been a lot more bad. But also, birds are cool, so... Like... Don't hate on birds. But also, this game is kind of hating on birds right now. But also, for those who are not aware of the context, uh, Japan goes through a bird flu epidemic very frequently. And, uh, yeah... That's part of why they took, uh, when, when COVID kept hitting them really hard, that's part of why they took it so damn seriously. Mm-hmm, because bird flu was still a thing during that time, too. The sample. Let's Again. Proceed to the next roost. Oh, there's a treasure chest back here, bud. Is there? Oh. Hey! Sure shit. Sweet! Another stat buffing potion that neither of us will probably use in battle this whole game. Uh, I might use it every one, uh, at some point. Is it a permanent one or a temporary one? Temporary. Uh, I might use it if I feel like a fight's getting too rough. I think there are passives that also do boost the uh, potency of items used that might attribute... Uh, that might affect buffs as well as healing items, for all I know. Also, yes, I am rounding back to this, thinking about it a little bit harder. Hold on, I'm going to mute for a second. Oh. Okay, sorry. Right. It, it was just a careful choice of words. So it wasn't. We weren't really saying anything bad. We were just being mindful of Twitch's uh, toss. Well, mind. Well, you were being mindful of Twitch's toss. I was just being mindful of let's try not to let's uh, try not to draw too much attention to it. Yeah. Yeah. Which is why I, another reason why I muted. Again, it's was not that intense. Like I have played with Twitch's toss pretty fast and loose compared to you, much to your consternation. Uh, yeah, you have, haven't you? I finished collecting the sample. Let's proceed to the next roost. Ah, uh, rule of three. Rule of three? Never a rule of four, though. Uh, some games do rule of four. But 
do they do a rule of rose? But also, once again, birds are cool. Just straight up, birds are cool. Except when they're trying to kill you, like they are now. Go, go check out Apollo and Friend YouTube channel. Glass. 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 What's this? Glass. There, there's something uncanny about the way certain birds are able to mimic human speech, though. Specifically African greys, actually. Uh, African grey, uh, macaws, I believe? I believe they're macaws. African grey parrots can mimic human speech extremely well and actually start forming whole sentences on their own. Because the part that really freaks me out is seeing videos of other bird owners and they're repeating sentences in like their owner's uh, native language, like German or mm -hmm. Japanese and stuff. And it's like, okay, that 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 puts a little more perspective in it. Oh boy, like kiwi. Mhm. Mm Washoi. <laughs> no, that's not a mazoo. No, uh, fucking. I think it's Hideki something. The the sound designer for Resident Evil. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's got he's he, the one with like the red bird that's like famous for the laughing borb meme. Yeah, so he has other birds that have... Well, that's way down there. Uh, I think you gotta go down to the dock? Yeah, that's what I was thinking, too. He has other birds that also are absolutely meme-capable. Meme like, uh, G uh, Kiwi and Kohaku. Kohaku always fucking screams at the top at the top of their lungs. And, uh... Uh... I've seen this movie already. Nope. 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 We nope. gotta get. We gotta get a blowtorch. Keep. Keep your dogs away from this. Ah. So we're going the predator route, huh? I was thinking the thing. That works too. Yeah. Albert. Is it just me, or have we seen that somewhere before? No, we have. It's identical to what we saw in the mine. They possess. What the fuck is their cool blue Gatorade in those in those you eggs? You've seen this species before. You were not the only one thinking yeah. that, were you? In the Delric mine. No. <laughs> right now, Midas's health is our top priority. The villagers can deal with this avian infestation themselves after we found a cure. Indeed. Glass. Can we pull this shit down? No? Okay. I pull this shit down? I'd be fucking planting explosives here and here. Yeah, no. Fuck the ground above it. Yeah. Well, we can rebuild that. Just sink this whole son of a bitch down under the water table. It's fine. Yeah, don't worry about it. As an aside, by the way, I'm very thankful this doesn't do the one thing that I've seen a couple other video games do that's kind of mm, where you have like a port town and then you'll have uh, uh, like buildings or whatever that have a basement area. That does not work in water table areas. Oh, you went a totally different direction than I was going to go. Like, do you want flooding? That's how you get flooding. Yeah, I was gonna more make a remark about how a lot of JRPGs uh, have port towns with very uh, particular sailors about that are very not okay nowadays. No, I was just think. No, I was just thinking about like straight up geologically. That's not how that works. Oh yeah, I mean obviously. The 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 one of the worst examples is probably in Shadow Hearts because it's based on real world locations and it's like uh. What, what which town was it? It was like Dalan or something like that. I don't know. I haven't played Shadow Hearts yet. Keyword yet. There might be workarounds for that. Totally valid workarounds. Also, there's an artist that I keep thinking of and I haven't <gasps> figured out yet. Huge. I think we did it. Yes, I believe we did. Oh, she outright told Nina about zones of inhibit. Oh my god. Selecting the perfect herb from all of our options was no easy task. <laughs> well, after all, it is my specialty. You have a keen eye. I forgot I even had it stopped. Literally looks like the default Fallout 4 guy. Do you this see does the not help it. This plate? It's filled with bacteria, organisms that are so small they cannot be seen with the naked eye. It's these invisible organisms that have made your villagers fall ill. As for this circle, it's called a zone of inhibition. It forms around the site where you place your prospective antidote. The larger it is, the more effective your drug is at killing the bacteria. Meaning, if we give this drug to people, they won't be afflicted by the disease anymore? Not entirely correct. An antibiotic merely eliminates the cause of the disease. Whether or not the patient is able to recover depends on other factors. As they stare at the camera again. Mm -hmm. That's quite the medicine. 
What's more, you don't even need Iatromancy to create it. Uh, Elena? Ray, a moment, if you will. Beep boop. <laughs> what did you want to talk about? Though we only used currently available methods to create it, simply by creating this antibiotic, we'll be exerting our influence over the planet's scientific progress, accelerating it considerably. Hold on, let her elaborate. Are you sure you want to do that? We've already come this far. Why are you talking like a Fed now? Because if these by the way, possible East Ten will come out next year. The antibiotic. Nice. It could give birth to a more resilient strain. That is the a fair civilizations point. Civilizations on this planet have yet to industrialize. They're incapable of manufacturing other drugs to combat variants. They have no means of dealing with allergic reactions to the drug. To be blunt, these people's understanding of bacteriology is almost non-existent. Handing them a medication that could theoretically create more problems than it solves is risky at best and catastrophic at worst. So we should let him die? Ultimately, that is for you to decide. <laughs> then I choose what will save the most people right now. Sure, it's possible I could be choosing wrong, but that's for the gods and history books to decide. Uh, yeah, no. All us mortals can do is think. Think how we can safely help these people. Think so... how to avoid your doomsday scenario. Understood. This could go two ways, for the record. With the amount of information she dumped, there's a good chance that she Morning, probably Uncle did Midas. the opposite of what she you thinks could happen. Mm. Well enough, but I'm much too old to go through all that again. You're 37. You should count your lucky stars since your quick recovery is pretty miraculous. I heard. It seems I was struck with the rot. I owe you two. It's all thanks what? to Nina. No. Her many years of diligent research are what paved the way for this discovery. Without her research, it would have been almost Damn. impossible to find the plant that We're talking to the computer. The compound. Computer. Filberto, computer loves me. <sighs> thanks. Well, now that Midas is back to we just form, gave a lot of existential. Uh, about that. About that. I hate to put a damper on things, but after the disaster with the first one, fucking default for lot for looking at. <laughs> Please tell me you're joking. Fallout 76 created a character looking ass. No, he's, he literally looks exactly like the. No, I know. He looks like the default uh, version of like whatever the, hmm? the placeholder name of the male character is called. I just don't consider that my canon. It's not the same if he doesn't look like an absolute monster. A trail there. Like someone just stuck some ground beef on the head of a mannequin. So I'd be more surprised if you did know of it. Once we're over, we'll make for Mount Cotterinth. The herbs for no, I know exactly what you mean. You don't gotta show me, man. <laughs> and I imagine the Cotto Seaport. It's just funny to see it. If we hope to see their ferry service. Almost called the, called them uh, Father Comstock, but. Then you will assist mm. us. Thank you, Maester Felgreed. Stop. I'm only accompanying you because of Albert and Elena. And I suppose for the sake of Ada itself, it's not uncommon for the residents to visit flatland settlements. We should have the cure on hand in case one succumbs to the rot. Excuses, excuses. Silence, whelp. Now, unless anyone wants to experience what I did, I say we get moving. Silence, whelp. I can bench a fucking car. A and Raymond just goes, wait, he knows He's what a car is? <laughs> expressing himself. I invented one. Around. And it's just I'm like sure a, a fucking loop in the third style Fiat 500. Ugh. Huh? These cars are cool. The hell's that mean? Considering we've got the regalia in Final Fantasy XIV, I hope we get one in there. Right. Because it's like literally the rules for the mounts are, what does our team think is fun? Yes. Oh fuck, Spanish exists on this planet. The, the script fucking knew what was coming. <laughs> Just, yes? I don't care! Oh. Got you by the fucking balls. Really? 
the binding car that has an arrow on it. That's our next car. I'd be still pretty okay with that. Let's give us, give us a little fucking Final Fantasy XIV uh, smart car. Like an... Uh, bing, bing. There's not enough children NPCs in the game for us to run over, though. <laughs> Good time. I took the hike. No, actually, no. I took the correct ground, I should say. Yep. I mean, then again, Yoko Taro does assist, so they probably have to. Uh, you're really avoiding Welch like the like the flu, huh? No, I believe she, uh, I'm not. I just realized she ha probably has like a uh, crafting related thing. Yeah. Where the fuck is she? Dalric Village. It's right there in the corner. Like these early ones are also really easy to knock out, so you may as well. I'll look at this. <laughs> when are we gonna get a Honda Civic? Out of touch. We're out of time. <laughs> I can't wait for Alice to offer us an accord. Right. Thancred becomes uh, Mr. Regular. Oh, God. Oh, uh, that joke is a lot more on the nose than, like, when it comes to 14's fan canon than, than you think now. Really? Uh, yeah, he recently came out of the closet. What? Yeah, he's, he, he is the, he, not only is he running with the fact that he's gay, but he's been making jokes about it. And, uh, one, good for, good on him, but also, two, he's been running with that joke for a good bit. Mm. <laughs> That that explains the uptick in Thancred Urianje pairings I've been seeing. Okay. For Mr. Regular, not Thancred. Ah. Uh, but people are speculating that Thancred is indeed uh the two gay dads thing. Because like they are Oh hey! Guess what you can just turn in immediately and she'll still say you were too slow for. I hate that. That's why I hate her. To be fair, I get the exact same way when I'm waiting for an Uber order, so I can't blame her. We should solve that soon. It's getting late. Sorry for the wait. She's just got like the black backpack on and everything. I'd hardly call that waiting. Not like I lost faith in your integrity. If anything, that was a world record. You're not convincing anyone, Grapes. Too shabby. This is an unparalleled ingredient. Now I'm one step closer to the final goal. Oh? What goal, you ask? Well, that is a secret resting in this here brain. Now, don't be pushy. As thanks, I will now give you a lesson in the smithery <laughs> secrets of the vineyard family. I will give her credit. Her voice actress sounds like she's having a lot of fun. Yeah, I will appreciate the fact that the that the voice actress very much did uh, went for a direction and made that direction hit. Next time I need something, you better be permanently ready to pick up, Buster. Like shout out to the voice actress for like actually nailing the role, but also fuck this character. Everyone around this character is fine, but this character in particular, I. Do not like her. Okay. I believe that's her Star Ocean 5 outfit, actually. Yeah, let's say I feel like I've seen this before. The fucking... Because she is basically this game's sit equivalent. Or the yeah. series is, rather. In case you're in Crystal, then we'll have Crystal Grapes. Oh my god. There we go. I'm still so happy they made that a fucking line sticker in Japan. So wait, if if we throw her out the window, does that make her a grapple? Hmm. Oh. No, that makes it a defenestration. Oh wait, do you do you not know what a grapple is? Do you not know what a grapple is? It's an apple that tastes like grapes. Science has gone too far. Absolutely. This is like this is like a discovering that if you uh, drink like a certain type of uh, like uh, liqueur or spirit and then chase it with coffee, it tastes like banana bread. Uh, yeah, I can believe that. And because of how complex certain ones are, they interact with like the nuttiness and so forth in coffee a certain way, so you get like mm -hmm. bananas, and it's weird. 
like, on a chemistry level, I understand, but on a fundamental level, I am just sitting here holding up a, a screaming like a caveman who just discovered fire. Oh, also, uh, cause somebody, before we wrap up stream, cause it is at that three hour mark. And, and we're also hungry. Uh, somebody, Malkin, can you look up real quick the character artist for this game and, uh, any other games that they've done? I swear they've done a Japan exclusive game. Cause, uh, Albert and, uh... Fucking Nina, I think, looks suspiciously like a, a, the two protagonists of another RPG that never made it over West. Uh, where is she? I want to say at least one of the character designers is similar to who they had on for uh, Star Ocean Four, because the face proportions look very similar to the models in that game. It's like the last something. Uh, the last story? No, because that's the Mistwalker game. There's another game that came out around the same time with a very similar name. Okay. Last Remnant? No. Huh. Huh. I'm like walking. Hi, welcome to what I do with RPGs. I do uh, walk around towns a lot. Hello, Toriel. My child, what have you done? Right. I think we made that joke twice now. Actually, I could just look it up myself. While you I'm could just look it up. Can I spell today? Divine Force. Artist. Wow, 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 wow. Uh. No, it's not Akira Yasta. Uh, all the while, Doom is trying to see if we can get into Raymond's phone so we can get his personal information and sell it off to, like, gangsters on Mars or something. Right. Don't turn your head and look at me. I know what I said. And yeah, that's right. <laughs> oh, Doom is facing the camera. I, lo I love it when games do that. Where, like, you're AFK for a second, and, uh... It, it, like, certain NPCs will start doing that. I think the ring is technically the back of it, but it did turn its, uh... I was gonna say head, but... T torso? Thorax? Whatever. It, it's, it's, it's self. Yeah, okay, so I'm not crazy. Uh, hold up. So, that's not it. It's like... Ah. Ugh. I have like the soundtrack somewhere. Oh my god. Is it gonna bother me? Lost story? Like the the models look extremely similar, and I think it might have actually been by Triace as well. Hmm. I know they did experiment with a couple other games out there, like, uh, Presidents of Fate slash End of Eternity. I'm, like, trying to find it while we're on stream. I'm sorry, we're sitting around so much right now. Why don't just call it here so you can look it up while we get food? Uh, give me a moment. Someone's gonna have the entry for it. Okay, maybe it's not Star or Triace. Hopefully it's not one of those games that got so little documentation it feels like it doesn't fucking exist until you finally find the one thread that you pull on. I think that might be what's gonna happen. Oh, Christ. Because there's a, still a few games from like the 360 PS3 era that are like that. That is precisely uh, what it likely is. Oh, boy. Hold up. Hold up. Lucid. Here it is. 2010. Because I know it's from the 2010s era. Yeah, we can really just do this while we order food, man. We could. Oh my god, that's like the worst. 
All right. Well, regardless, it's a game that shares a very similar uh, character design philosophy with over half of the cast of this game so far. <coughs> like, it it's so close to what this game has that every time Albert looks at the side of the camera, my brain immediately snaps to that game, but never the title. Because they do look almost exactly the same. Is that why you want to keep pushing them off screen? No, I just want to... What the fuck you say? What the fuck you say? What the fuck you say? It, it, it sounded like she called you a bitch. Bitch! <laughs> okay, we are going to wrap up the stream, though. Alright. Because I, I am dragging my feet on Sorry, figuring out what it waiting. is. I'm all set to go. Yeah, so hold up. Why, why am I... Lestisha, suddenly. We'll head north to the Adali region, yeah, like, and then from the there are characters the that look exactly like Letitia and Albert in the game. Mm. Like, bit a piece for piece. Mm. Well, we can always stop at a village along the way if we need anything. We can never be too prepared. I'll find it and post it in a Discord server. Anyways. Anyways. And with that, we're gonna wrap it up here. Uh... I gotta save unless it auto saves. Does it auto save? I haven't saved in a bit. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention. Good luck on everyone surviving the blood moon and not having to fight a giant fucking spider at the bottom of a lake. Oh, is that happening today? That happened Tuesday. Oh. Apparently, there are some really cool photos that came out for it. If you haven't seen, like some of the ones in Tokyo look like stills from uh, the Evangelion TV series. That's that is pretty awesome. All right, uh, Vodrak is. Don't know what the fuck that was, but all right. <laughs> all right, well, and with that, uh, yeah, it's a short day because it's low energy day for the both of us for, the whole, and for this entire fucking apartment. For the whole family. But, uh, family. yeah, thank you all so very much for watching. Uh, I'm going to keep the outro fairly short. Uh, Monday is kind of up in the air just a little bit, may but I'll keep everybody posted. It may go back to Sunday for the rest of this month until things get resolved. We'll see how things go. I want to do more Signalis because that game is amazing. I still need to play it. I hear so many good things. It is amazing. But yeah, uh, thank you all so very much for watching. It, it, it like I cannot say like more uh, enough in my opinion. But thank you all so very much for watching, and uh, thank you for participating in chat and just chilling in general. Uh, have a good night, everybody, and stay true to yourselves. I'll see you all next time.